Uh, and now I will <laughs> leave it over to Stephen. Have a great show. And uh, I'll check back in with you later. Bye. Thanks, Dom. Hey, everyone. Welcome to New Pantheon Academia here, raising money for the Trevor Project. I'm your host and storyteller for the afternoon. Wow. I'm so we switched times and now I've lost control of my life. Uh, Stephen Pope, uh, let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with our very special guest star. Uh, they're here. They're here to collect that Cowboy Bebop bounty. It's Critical Bard. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> no, uh, hello, friends. My name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh, I'm a hot mess. Uh, that's kind of how I, I open everything. I'm an actor and vocalist, uh, professional actor for years now. Equity card, what up? Uh, I, I am a host. I'm a moderator. I've worked with companies like Critical Role, Wizards of the Coast, World of Darkness, so many others. I'm a partner, Twitch streamer on here, part of the uh, Black History Month team for the 2021 year for Twitch. Uh, you know, just doing what I do um, as, as I can. I'm very happy to be here. Very excited to play this character. Very excited to play this system. I have never played it. We're going to be learning as we go, and that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about what I have built up, and I hope that uh, he adds a little bit of fun um, and story to this game. That's my one hint. Yes, yes. Now kicking it over to uh, they fell through a well and now they're in feudal Japan with uh, hot half demon boys. R.I.P. Mika. I'm I'm in feudal Japan with hot demon boys. Oh my gosh, you've completely ruined my train of thought. Um, I'm R.I.P. Mika. I'm surrounded by hot demon boys. <laughs> I don't have many. Oh my, why'd you do this to me, Stephen? Because um, I do this. This is my regular show that I'm on every week, but uh, we finished our finale last week, and now we're doing a charity stream today. So we are. I hope you guys are going to come in, come in clutch with us today. Uh, I also just stream every, uh, basically every other day, and I play Dahlia Wingrove, whose divinity is Persephone, the goddess of the underworld. I love it. Also, uh, well, now I have to throw it over to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my captions aren't on? Steven. Mm. I am a failure at my job. Hi. Oh, okay, there we go. That's the first thing you see with me. Hi, there are my captions. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, and also, I have to throw it over to someone who makes miracles happen because you signed their contract. Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You know me from lots and lots of different places all around the internet, but I am here playing Manny today, whose deity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. That's me. That's you. Uh, also, we're joined by someone who is cross-dressing to blend in with a bunch of very attractive hosts, Kelly. Wow. Okay. You, you do these beautiful intros, and every time I'm like... Who who is it? Beautiful. beautiful. Who, I basically give like a two like summary of a different anime and then throw you in the middle. <laughs> listen, listen. I love it. I'm thriving. Uh, I am Kelly Nugent, uh, aka Kelly Nuji. Um, I am playing Iris Snow, um, the well-meaning shut-in who <laughs> is partnered with her divinity the goddess of death, life, the beginning, <laughs> infinity, the end. Uh, just the, and also is just like the most beautiful thing to behold, Kali. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And last and certainly not least, they're in the digital world with a uh, adorable champion that turns into some weird things. So like at one point their, their arms turn in the gun. Just don't worry about it. It's Eric. Hi everybody. Uh, welcome on in. Uh, my name is Eric, and I will be playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the the jock of the group. Uh, he's the responsible party jock uh, who has the goddess Ninkasa, the Sumerian goddess of beer, as his his patron. And we love him for it. Though I still am not sure how you could be the responsible party one. He's a conundrum. He is a conundrum wrapped in an enigma. And we love that about him. 
Uh, before we get into our anime convention celebration, uh, first off, I want to give a special shout out to Noble Knight Games, Hero Forge, Die Hard Dice, North Foundry, Owen Lean, Rookie Jet Studios, Who Made Over Arms, uh, The Fantasy Network, and T Public for the generous donation for our prizes. As Dom said before we went live, you could still enter, you could still get them. To be eligible to win any of our prize packs, you must first be a follower of the channel. It's free. Don't worry about it. Uh, to win the grand prize or the Explorer's Pack Prize, just enter the giveaway by typing exclamation point raffle in chat. Subs get a bonus five entries. The Sub Gifter Award will be presented to the number one and number two top sub gifters as a way of saying thank you for your support. And remember, every 100 subs adds another $100 to the pot of us from Saving Throw for the Trevor Project. We're raising money for uh, LGBT youth, queer causes, things like that. And I'm incredibly grateful to be a part of this today. It means a lot to me. And as you guys have unlocked through your support of New Pantheon Academia during its first season, our special one shot today is the North Point Academy Anime Convention. And are you all familiar with an elevator party? Uh, I think I've I think I've heard of them from Dragon Con, yeah. Yes. Um I know, but like just starting? for fun, like say what it yeah. is. Yeah, we all know, but I like, don't know. The, no, uh, <laughs> who was we? No, 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 no. <laughs> no I was saying that dark. completely. I think I think we're I, all in the dark here. Those I do dummies not know in what the that audience, is. they don't know, so they probably <laughs> Yeah, just for the people in the audience that don't know and also right. maybe cast all members. Right. So elevator parties are something that's really fun between the ages of 15 to 25, and then afterward, you hate them for the rest of your life with a burning passion of a thousand suns. It's when someone brings a boombox into the elevator, you shove as many people you legally can on the elevator, then about five extra people, and you have a dance party in the elevator. And that is where we are beginning th with this. You are in the Galana dorm elevator. You are trying to get down to the first floor because the anime convention is going on right now, and there is a dance party surrounding you. Um, Iris, how are you handling this? Uh, uh, un I, unwell. I, she's very unwell. Um, but she is like, somehow she's completely shut down in her face and mind, but she's like doing that aggressive step clap that she was doing in the mausoleums, which is not a good dance move for a small space. <laughs> So she's she's step clapping, but just like dead faced. I love that. Yes, Iris's soul has left her body, and this is possibly as close to hell as she has ever been. Uh, Manny, how are you handling this? I think that Manny took one look at what was happening, took one look, took one look at Iris, and like started to create a perimeter of some kind around <laughs> Iris in order to protect <laughs> Iris from people. And has just been gently telling people, please step back. Step back, please. Okay, I'm um, sorry, you're too close. Please step back. Uh, while also like looking at Iris just being like, everything's fine. This is fine. <laughs> As Iris continues to. <laughs> <laughs> There's like those despair lines behind Iris, I imagine. Yes. It's like this is uh manny why don't you go ahead and give me a charisma roll we're looking for a three sure i i have fairly decent uh, decent charisma because i'm nice people like me yeah but i rolled a one <laughs> we're getting um, off to a great start today y'all yeah no no it's great it's great uh you are being you're trying god bless you you're trying to protect Iris. It's so, there's so many it's people here so many people this elevator is not up to code for this. Like, Usually I'm perfectly comfortable with enabling people to do things that they probably shouldn't do <laughs> because I just want people to be happy, but they're disrupting my girl's peace and I'm not okay <laughs> with that. Oh no, Iris has barely any peace to begin with. So this is special. Uh, Dahlia, how are you handling this one? Oh, I am in my element. Uh, I am currently trying to lead the sing along to the song that's on the boom box, but Dolly is only four foot two. <laughs> and so 
She's over by Lenny and she's like, Lenny, put me on your shoulders. You have to get me up above everyone. They have to see me. I have to lead them. Come on, Lenny, please. I mean, shoulders uh, might be kind of hard because, because uh, you know, the, the elevator's not that tall, but uh, I could like, I guess, lift Neither you. Neither am I. And then, uh, so I'm just gonna like, Grab, uh, grab Dahlia by like the waist and just like hoist her up high. <laughs> uh, Lennox, why don't you give me a strength roll to see how this goes? <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. We'll roll this. We're looking deep. for a four. Okay, uh, so and that is, um, I, I, I did bad in school, and that is higher than two. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Okay, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> So we're doing. We're starting off with great, great rolls yeah, here. Yeah. So we're going in order. That's my best so my dad, too. You guys, you guys will be in the middle of it. Uh, you attempt to lift Dahlia, and you just oh, oh boy, oh boy! Someone hits you right in the rib in the wrong way, and you both go down. I think it yeah. was me. I think Iris <laughs> hits you. I just can't get like I can't get my wingspan out enough to get leverage. I'm just like oh, I can. Higher, Lenny, higher! I can't, I can't like move my arms, uh, like outward, which I need to lift. <laughs> the elevator comes to a stop and it opens. Oh, the chant of elevator party continues, and you are not on the ground floor. You're on the fourth floor, and you guys live on the sixth floor. It's been a while. Kwame, the door opens, and you see some foolishness. Now, now, what is happening here? Uh, you are greeted by the chant of elevator party from everyone in there, except for four people. Uh, three of them looking particularly miserable, and one of them looking like she's she's actually enjoying herself. Ooh, this reminds me of a story I once heard, and, well, it didn't end as well as it should have. Um, luckily, it was a dream. You've heard of Final Destination, no? I don't think that's the story we should be telling a bunch of people jumping up and oh, down on an elevator. The movie about people dying. Oh, I've yeah, seen that, that movie 479 times. Yeah, that's a, that super old movie. You Is might want to get out movie? of the elevator then. He like, kind of gets steps out of the way, um, wondering yeah, maybe, about the chaos that's going on. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe this is worth the danger of risking the stairs, Iris. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. This is actually uh, there's a placard outside the elevator that says uh, maximum capacity, and we are well over that. And as the RA of this dorm, uh, not this particular floor, but like I have to advise that this is too dangerous. Says Lennox, the one who was on the... oh, okay. We're looking for a six. Who's rolling what? I'm sorry, who? I'm asking uh, Lennox to roll me charisma, and I'm looking for a six. Oh, then um, I. D dice don't explode in this. I can't get a six. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I got a three. Are, people are physically pushing you out of the elevator, Lennox. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, overstep my bounds. I, I get it, I get it. I okay. have like a death grip on the back of Lenny's shirt because I'm too short. So he's <laughs> it's, if he's getting pushed out, I'm going with him. Okay. And sorry, the, the, the anime convention is on this floor. The anime convention is on the ground floor. Ground floor. We're on fourth floor. Yep. Okay. okay. Yes. The anime convention has actually taken up the lobby of all three North Point Academy dorms, along with the recently renovated auditorium, the theater, which was finally fixed, and the old auditorium, where uh, wonderful things happen. Gotcha. That's where the bad guys live. Okay. Manny. Manny, yeah, I'm, yes. going to, I'm going to require your help. Right now, I am much like water. I will go wherever there is space. So you're going to need a, to clear a pathway for me, and I will be able to exit this elevator. Can I reach <clears throat> in and, like, like grab Iris and just, like, like pull her out of the ground? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Uh, I feel like you could pull her out probably Ex with a me. popping noise. but Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh gosh. Okay. Whew. Hi, Kwame. Hey, Manny. How are you doing? 
All right, I guess. Uh, Doesn't look like it. I'm taking the stairs. I don't know about you all. Stairs is definitely a good idea. Stair I party! I'll, no. I'll look over at uh, Lenny, Dahlia, and Iris and say, I do not believe we have the pleasure of knowing each other. Kawame, how did you meet Nice to meet you. Good evening. My name is Dahlia Wingrove. You're going to be seeing me on Playbills next summer. I promise you that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. That sounds like a story I would like to hear. <gasps> oh, have I got the story for you? And this is Iris. She's a little shy. H Hello. H hi. You might not know me, but I do know you. As I, <laughs> I, I, I do uh, know much about everybody at our school, um, but do not leave my room, uh, except for now, as, as you can see. How is that going for you? Poorly. <laughs> You're doing great, Iris. Thank you. Thank Has you. Has clapping stopped? She's, she's Slowly. The, She's the president of the school safety squad. And there's there's an opening for 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 another member if if you're if you'd like to join. I will consider that in the future. For now, no. And I look over at Linux. Mm. Oh, yeah. And uh I'm I'm Linux. Uh, uh people people call me Lenny sometimes. Uh and uh yeah. He's the sixth floor RA. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He also throws crazy good parties. I mean, you know. It's... Pizza parties. Lots of responsibility for one like you. Hopefully you do not F it up. Um, uh, and just Who so you all know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, and just so you all know, you're looking at a six foot three, um, dark brown, golden undertone man. It's pretty uh, uh, like swimmers build muscle versus just like plain muscle. He's kind of tall and slender, but he still has some definition. Um, you do notice that he is wearing sunglasses right now. Uh, his hair is shaved to the side, sponged on the top. Um, uh, and if you look closely, that's probably light. You see that he does have heterochromia. Um, he just hides it. Um, why? Who knows? Um, but, but yeah. Um, and he says, well, I'm going downstairs. If you would like to come with me, you can. Uh, well, I mean, that's where we were headed anyway. Might as well finish the trip. Sounds we're too cool for the elevator anyway. <laughs> they kicked us off because we were having too much fun. Don't make that uh -huh. face. Manny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kwame just starts to walk towards the the um the stairs. He has a very cool, chill vibe as he walks. So what you been up to lately? Well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um tried to start a um a jam poetry group. Didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Surprisingly, not as much creativity in this place as I wanted to be. Oh, well. You should have talked to the theater club. Mm, too dramatic for my taste. <laughs> I, I, I meant somehow... to say, to um, poetry is about filling the the groove in the in the floor. Um, not much light can appear for I. Mm, no, it's My, okay. I understand. I, can I hear the this. crying of a beautiful woman you hear from the stairwell above you. Oh, boy. And dressed in what I can only describe as just enough to be publicly appropriate, and that's it, is Biro Martin. Oh, boy. Kwame, why are, you, why are you making women cry? I do not make women cry. Well, never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, now, Kwame, would you know Spiro? He's part. He's uh, he's uh, from France, international school, uh, and he's part of the popular mu popular music club. He's also gorgeous AF. Extremely yeah, yeah, hot. Plays guitar everywhere. Uh, Has like um, perfect bangs. 
Kwame is a proud bisexual. Um, one hundred percent probably knows who he is, and this has looked. <laughs> um, <laughs> Same but, with uh, all of us. Uh, everyone's ew. attracted. Everyone's this this is just a here. very. This is a very very disaster by kind of group. So you're you're in good company. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he's not falling head over heels for any men's, but uh, no, no just, men are trash. I'm gay. Well, I'm saying same. Um, they're <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> trash. Please but, keep uh, Dahlia the same. <laughs> With Dahlia, oh, oh, my heart breaks for Dahlia's like heartbroken future. Oh, <laughs> no. As as a as as somebody who grew up as a Dahlia. Mm. Wish me too. <laughs> no better. comment. <laughs> no, not even it gets better. Just mm. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Spiro hops over the railing and joins you all, and he is dressed in uh, it's basically a speedo with wings on it. Did you just say this man hopped over a railing in a speedo? Yep. Oh boy. Uh, so Manny positions themselves behind Dahlia and holds out their arms because they know what's coming. Dahlia, Dahlia's like drooling a little bit and she does that, that face that they always do in animes where she's like, ah, and then she's just gonna like the flower is just back. kind of. Do you have a nosebleed? I have to know yes. there's a nosebleed. Yes. Oh absolutely. boy. So you. Poor Lenny too. You explode, you faint. Uh, Lenny, how are you handling this? Uh, Lenny looks like he, he looks, so, he's like, like he doesn't care, but in his head, he's like, why do I care about this so much? <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, the most tsundere. Yeah, what up, Spiro? Oh, God, Spiro looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get that installed? Oh my god! Why is it only now that we're seeing that? I can't oh. believe you you held that from us until now. Oh. <laughs> we had ten episodes. Where was it? See, that that's so content good. worth donating to the Trevor. That was really for good. Wow. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. If we raise three hundred more dollars, I want Eric to give his hottest anime take with that toy. Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious! I'm declaring that. Spiro throws his arm around you, Kwame. You're making women cry, you horrible little man. Why? Wait, and let me understand it. He's wearing nothing but a Speedo right now? <laughs> Pretty is much. Is he cosplaying, or is he just <laughs> that way? <laughs> oh, is it the anime uh, convention? I was just dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many times have I heard that, though? For real, for real. Nice costume. Oh, yeah, a, a costume. Mm-hmm. Sure. I just, as, as he wraps his arm around me, I mean, I, I mean, I take it, but I just look up and down. Discretion, friend. You don't want to make what? people cry with what, what you um <clears throat> lack. With with a sly grin. Oh, sweetheart, it's not the size of the boat; it's the motion of the ocean. And I am Hermes from that uh, video game. I I do not know. I was asked to dress like this. I think Dahlia's that's gonna like wake up and then hear this and then faint again. <laughs> <laughs> Manny is sort of nonplussed. They get it, but they also don't get it. So it's just like, I mean, I'm mostly just worried you're going to get hypothermia. That is actually a very real concern of mine as well. I do not want to lose fingers or toes. We are in the Pacific Northwest in winter, and I am wearing. I mean, you have made a choice. You can it have my hoodie if you one. want. Ah, uh, Lennox, you are very, you are very kind. Thank you. All right, I'm Lennox. assuming you are going downstairs as well. Indeed, I was. I tried the elevator, but there was an elevator party. Then that seemed to have been an RA who didn't do their job. Uh <laughs> They had transitioned from the sixth floor to the. They were at the fourth floor, and my my. I only cover the sixth floor. Uh, uh -huh. Plus, Lenny was overpowered and got pushed out. Yeah, and also I'm off the clock technically. I signed out and everything. 
Are we all dressed for this convention? That's oh, actually a very yeah. good question. What's everybody dressed as? What's your costume? Dolly is probably body. in a Uravity costume from My Hero Academia. <laughs> oh, Chico. I love it. Um, Manny? Manny is dressed as, hold on, I need to find their name because I've, I've forgotten it in my excitement because they were the first person I thought of as the possibility for their costume and now I can't remember their name. Uh, they are dressed as, while I'm looking it up, somebody else go, please. Um, I can, I'll go ahead. Lenny. Okay, yeah, Lenny looked like he wasn't dressed up, but when he took off his hoodie, you see that he's wearing a tank top that is a, a it's a very tight, uh, muscle tank top that is uh, Dragon Ball Z armor. <laughs> and, and you can see like, like he doesn't, he doesn't often take his shirt off. So you don't often see how, like how, how muscular he is underneath that. Oh, you're going to try to kill Nanako today. Nice. <laughs> oh, you're poor Nanako. Nanako's going to explode. So it's, it's uh, funny you said that because uh, Kawame is wearing a purple jumper with a uh, blue sash around. Um, he is yes! dressing up as Piccolo who is black period. Um, <laughs> black and the best dad. I mean, and Lenny is a is a big dumb strong himbo, so he's Goku. <laughs> They're going to be best friends. Um, uh, <laughs> go ahead, Iris. Uh, Iris is wearing. Well, so she's kind of shy, so she's she's also kind of hiding her costume. So she's on the outside. Um. She's wearing like a big like puffer jacket thing, like long puffer jacket. But then underneath, she's wearing um, Homura Akemi's um, magical girl outfit from Madoka. Oh, that's so cute. So she's wearing that underneath, but she hasn't shown anyone or told anyone. So she's just, she was like, I don't know. I just like decided to try something different today. It's so pink. <laughs> Uh, Manny is dressed like Momiji Soma from Fruits Basket, the one that turns into the bunny. Ah, love it. Too they, soon? Huh? What? Never mind. Too soon. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot our our bunny friend. But I also, this is also an homage to a certain bunny friend of my own. So Yes. <laughs> from another universe, if you will. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, the six of you, jo the, I, I'm sorry, the uh, five of you joined by Spiro make your way down the stairwell. Uh, the noise gets louder and louder until finally you are at the lobby where they have set up the artist alley for the convention in the Galana lobby. Um, there are pictures, there are crafts. It is a special spectacle for the eyes oh my god i miss conventions i never thought i would get to this point but here i am in 2021 and running up in a blonde wig and a poofy underskirt uh is ben pendleton uh they are dressed as uh god what's her name the uh they, they they get a little ahead of themselves in Madoka. Oh, 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 uh, the blue-haired one? No, 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 the blonde one who gets... Uh, oh, Mami you know. Tomoe? Mami, thank you. Yeah. Yes, Ben is cross-playing as Mami Tomoe. Sad. Mami. Mm. Hey, Manny! Hi. Uh, uh, do you need me for something? Uh... No, no. Uh, Pep Squad's not doing anything today. I'm just. Uh, I'm actually you know. really surprised by that. I figured if Pep Squad is going to show up for anything, it would have been this. You'd think that, but the anime club has an iron fist on this event. Fair enough. Mm. You look good. Thank you. Uh, he kind of lifts his skirt a little. This is, I got to admit, freeing is the word for this. I've heard skirts are very nice. Yeah, they are. Seriously. I can get away with this on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, Why not? It's, it's your oh, body. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, uh, they look at Kwame and they like kind of nod in agreement. What he said. Iris is oh. just kind of standing behind where everybody else is and like locks eyes and then just opens her puffer really quick and then closes it. 
Uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity roll real fast. Oh, no! I want to see you. <laughs> oh, no! I'm just looking for a three. It's not a high roll. Yay, six. Okay, yeah, he catches that. And Ben, who you haven't really talked to, he's he's worked with Dahlia, he's worked with Manny, he's never really talked to you, Iris, but he's just... Why, why, why are we clapping? Oh, um, it's closed. Her, her puffer's closed. Don't worry about it. I saw something fun. Oh, hey, Kwame. Hey, hey, how are you? Good, busy. Uh, let's see. The dance team has a uh, we're, okay. So we got together and we're doing this magical girl transformation thing uh, to when I grow up, and I think it's uh, a choice. But hey, at least I get to wear this today. Also, they won't let me bring my gun in, and I understand why, but still, it completes the costume, you know? Well, you know, safety does come first. No, nah, no. And we are a school. Yeah, but it's it, literally, I made it out of toilet paper rolls. It's pretty fake, but I get it. I get it. I get it. You never know one minute you can be holding a toilet paper gun, the second it can be destroying an entire building. Yeah. Yeah, you never know like what uh, what's actually gonna hurt people, like uh, you know it could, anything. It all depends on the story you tell, friend. Um, all of you hear a very light giggle. Kwame, you recognize the voice immediately, uh, but you all hear it. Is it who I think it is? It's who you think it is. Oh no! <laughs> oh yes! Oh no! Um. Is it audible enough to the point where it's like something I should be concerned about, or is it like a just someone just playing in the distance? Um, they're always with you, so yeah. it's you know you're kind of used to them having their own color commentary on events, but this is sort of uh, if you were to converse with them, you'd probably get a bad idea or a great idea. What was that? That's interesting. Do you have something to say? Oh, come on. An entire building destroyed with toilet paper? That's, that's a story. It is, but we do not want to do that now. <laughs> yes. Um, ben kind of gives you a look as you seem to talk off into the distance. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, I, I gotta go. Apparently, the vendor's room is having a sale right now, and if I do not get that jujitsu stuff, I'm going to punch everything. So I would, I would also find someone from the sewing department. Your your skirt is uh, the hem; it's coming apart a little bit. Just this is what I get for doing it at three in the morning. Okay, thanks, Kwame. Uh, later, Manny. Bye. What was? Do I get the feeling that, or would I know that they are also people who converse or have connections with divinities? Um, I know Manny a little bit more than the other three, for sure. They have kind of been spotted near where things happen. Earlier in the year, there was that fire at in the school theater. Um, there was that incident with the uh, cafeteria and auditorium getting a little trashed. And, uh, you know, Iris was involved with that one. But you might not have... Yeah, you might have your sus suspicions. suspicions huh? <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Just had a thought. And people like me, we speak our thoughts out, we speak our thoughts out loud. So did we... Did we hear any of the other side of that conversation at all? Um, Kwame was kind of whispering. I'm going to go ahead and say you might, you heard some whispering, but you didn't hear any like details. I talk to myself all the time too. Do you have a pet rabbit too? I had a pet rabbit that I used to talk to all the time that was in my bag. I carried it to class all the time. No, not this, not the, not the rabbit. Um, you could say that. Um, I always have a spider on my shoulder. Oh, if you will. Oh no, 
That's not good. Spiders are scary. Spiders are not scary. That is a story that society has spun about them. What? Statistically speaking, you're more likely to perish from the bite of a bird than from the bite of a spider. But this I can see birds, and I can hear them coming, and I can't see spiders coming. Hmm. That's the good thing about spiders. They are sneaky. But when they want to show themselves, they will. Are you okay, oh, Manny? No. no, I thought I was having a thought, but never mind. <laughs> Speak that it out hurt. loud. No, it's just something in the back of my brain that I feel like I should remember something important. <sighs> never mind. Manny, why don't you go ahead and give me an intelligence roll real fast? <laughs> this will go well. <laughs> We're looking is, for a sex because is Spiro you. still with the group. Um, Spiro got immediately oh, uh, kind of swarmed by people wanting his photo. So, uh, of course, I was one of them. <laughs> so I rolled one die and it popped out of my dice tray and fell on the floor. So I was like, "Fuck that die!" Uh, and rolled again on another die and I rolled a six. I rolled max on the one on my on my intelligent roll. All right, all right. Um, Are sixes the ones that explode? Uh, I have a D6 only, because... Only when you have to roll double. Well, okay, okay. Both okay. dice, yes. Um, Manny, the squirrel in your brain uh, must turn something the right way. It's Maybe not a squirrel, they... it's my aunt. My aunt uh, yeah. in my brain. Very true. Um, you have a flashback. And it is the night all of you received your divinity when Orpheus, claiming to be a god, presented four keys and, and proudly declared them five. And you remember those keys. Ninkasi, Ma'at, Kali, Persephone, and there was one more, a very important key. Ah! And we cut back to present day with Manny getting a little too much into Kwame's grill. Yes. And they're like five eight, so they're they're medium build. Like, yeah, there's there's a height difference there. I think uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of it. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, 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 right yeah. here. Yeah. So, um. So Manny, uh, just for your own edification, CD is a uh, five eight um, North African uh, descent with like dark wavy short hair, glasses, uh, kind of the same sort of build that you have, like kind of lean, sort of like, uh, but not an athletic one. It's just you know skinny lean one. Um, uh, they look nerdy and are not nerdy at all at the same time. It's it's weird, um, and uh, they kind of look at you with big like. He's like light brown eyes and and kind of squint behind their glasses and then kind of raise an eyebrow and then look at the rest of their group and go, so you like stories, huh? I love a story. Did you always like stories? Mm, for the most part. I was not a singer or a dancer, but I can always give a good conversation when I wanted to. Even exaggerated a little bit if I need. I see. And you say you always have a spider on your shoulder. That is true, though figuratively. Ever literally? Perhaps. And they just give you like that little kind of guileless smile. Is anybody around us right now? Uh, there are plenty of people, but they're all kind of distracted with shopping and chatting and uh, trying to figure out, like, no, we can't go to that panel. We got to go to this panel, but I need to go to this panel. You know. You what? should, come, you should what, come eat lunch with us. What color? What's Manny wearing again? Manny's probably, so Momiji wears lots of really cute, frilly uh, clothing. Um they're probably in something that's like a, a cotton candy pink sort of 
deal. Like it's, it's, uh, Mummy Tisoma is adorable, uh, from like just head to toe, just the cutest. Any accessories? Thing. Uh, they'd have like a little sailor hat on, probably. Um, yeah. Sailor hat and usually a bunny backpack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Um, Kawami just smiles, and while people are not really watching, um, he just kind of looks. Let me spin you a story in which your cotton candy pink shirt was actually blue. All right. So, uh, Critical Bar, here's how this system works. I'm going, you're going to spend an AP point. Uh, you okay. have 12. So you'll spend one. Yes. And you will uh, give me power, which is a D10, and mm -hmm. intelligence, which is another D10. Mm -hmm. And this is, I'm going to declare this kind of an easier roll. We're going to look for an eight. Okay, so, okay, AP points. So I have 12, I have 11 now, I understand. Uh, great, that's a 14. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did uh, If you roll... And so if you get a six on both dice or the maximum on both dice, that's mm -hmm. a critical success. But if you get a one on both dice, that's a critical failure. Gotcha. Yes. So yeah, yeah, I got a 10 on one and, uh, and a four on the other. So Nice. Okay, 14. Uh, what does Anansi look like, Kwame? Um, Anansi quite literally um, looks like a... a um, not necessarily a black widow, but a nice black spider that crawls upon his shoulder. Uh, pretty big size, too. Not small. Uh, almost like, yeah, like a Manny, big old nugget on Manny his shoulder. Manny is fine. This is fine. This is totally <laughs> okay. Do we also see this or just Manny? Um, as this is divinity, you are all capable of seeing it. But uh, you can take solace in the fact that no one else can. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what uh, Anansi looks like. Um, nice. Oh boy. And did did their shirt turn? <laughs> uh, with that success, yes. Uh, the spider comes crawling off your arm, and it looks like it's gonna touch you, Manny. It does not. And your costume goes from cotton candy pink to a beautiful sky blue. Oh, I'm going to notice this happening and I'm going to try my hardest to get Iris's attention. Iris, uh, look, look over there. Look over there really quick. Look uh, at that. Okay, oh. I'm looking where Dolly is pointing. You should come uh, have lunch with us today. <laughs> Let's look around the convention floor first, yes. Sounds good. Your friend is very big. He's harmless. He stands up and he gets a little bow. Uh, <gasps> yes, if you could not tell, this uh, is Anansi. Yeah, we've been looking for him. Is that so? You never asked. I didn't think I needed to ask. Well... Don't be upset about questions you didn't want the answer to in the first place. Valid. We have a lot of questions for you. See, if you want the answers, you ask questions. It's... Mm -hmm. yes. But yeah, let's look around the convention first. Very big. Okay. <laughs> I promise you, I am as friendly as a, a butterfly is good here. Some people hate those. A butterfly's okay. I like butterflies. You have two. I'm as friendly legs. as a butterfly. You have so many legs. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Everything um, maybe don't have enough legs. How about that? <laughs> we are uh, continuing the tradition where I call spiders spooters on stream in order absolutely. to be less afraid of them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um Lennox, Manny, and Dahlia's phones buzz, and it's just on our group thread, like 40 emojis of a spider. <laughs> Iris, you're from Iris. Jerk. <laughs> She's trying to communicate. She doesn't realize it might be meaner. 
Um, hey, hey, gang. Hey. Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah. oh, hi. Hi. Um, uh, hi. Real quick, I just wanted to say that uh, chat has unlocked a um, poll from the tarot deck. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. Uh, also, um, we are getting close to the uh, anime hot take from Eric. Ooh. Uh, and as well, we are uh, on our way towards unlocking a spirited away watch along with the cast Aww. and crew. Uh, we At $4,000, we will unlock a watch along. Not today. It will happen, though, in the future once we can get it scheduled. But uh, that's that's on the docket. Thank you. Over and out. Bye. Yes. So, uh, Critical Bard, as our guest, I am going to draw three cards from the tarot deck and pick a number between one, two, three, and we shall see what the fa what the cards hold. Oh no! Um, spiders have eight legs. Two can be divided. Uh, two. <laughs> All right. The card you draw is oh, it is the Empress in reverse. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. Yes. So the Empress in reverse, that represents the idea of royalty and control getting a little bit out of hand. And as the four of you walk towards the next convention, the next part of the convention, whichever where you're going, you run into Dahlia. She's not your arch nemesis, but you do consider her a boss. Uh, it is Sandra Freeman, uh, captain of the cheer squad and uh, vice president of the drama club. Sandra. Oh, hello, Dahlia. Nice outfit. Where'd, Where'd you get that, Party City? Ooh. Oh, hmm. Nice cosplay. It's basic. Fits you. Well, we'll see who's talking when I'm uh, I'm the lead in the next play. Oh, I'm sorry. You're you're going to be what in the next play? Hi, That's Sandra. Good. The lead. Oh. I Iris is, Iris is gonna massage Dahlia's shoulders a little bit and like give her a water bottle. <laughs> hi, Manny. Oh, hi, Chloe. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm. I'm good. I'm good. You know, she is not dressed up for the convention. She looks like she's just kind of dressed up for a normal weekend. Um, she is a slender woman of African American descent, and she she's very pretty. She's very pretty, Dahlia. Ah, I'm imagining one of the actresses from um, All American. Mm hmm. It's a very beautiful cast. If you have never <laughs> seen All American, please watch it. The cast is so pretty, it hurts. Um, Rant over. I finally caught up to Drag Race. I was just imagining uh, Simone myself. Mm. Yes. So, yeah, I was on my way to a meeting for with you know the other big names in the drama club. The other. Oh, it's weird that you would group yourself with them. <clears throat> well, I am vice president. Christina is only president for one more year, and I'm here to pick up Xander. So, you excuse me. You're excused. <laughs> Dahlia, uh, you weren't invited to the meeting. I'm yeah, sorry I to say it. <laughs> I didn't even realize it until now. I oh, you. Dahlia. Oh, no. Maybe that's why you weren't invited to the meeting. <laughs> maybe maybe we should have a different conversation that won't make Dahlia feel terrible. No, well, it's let's fine. talk about something it's just else. The second time I'll cry today. Dahlia, <laughs> you've lost all the color. Everything is in despair. You got the Zetsubo lines behind you. And. You can't even look at Spiro right now because he's inside and you're not. <laughs> I believe we should go forward. <laughs> Please. Let's not sit in despair for too long. Yes. I would like to forget about this until I'm alone. 
Yes. As you make it to the quad of the three dorms, uh, you can see they've set up stuff outside. Uh, some food be- food vendors are present. Um, there are sign-ups, sign-ups for the uh, masquerade later this evening. Uh, every face a different shade. Thank you. Thank you. Uh as stated, the Galana dorm was given the artist alley. All the students who make crafts and some professional artists throughout the Oregon uh, Tri-State area are present here. Uh, in uh, Rio Grande is the vendor's room, and they're doing uh, panels and talkbacks over in, I'm going to say this wrong, please make fun of me, I deserve your roast, the Thames store. No! Thames. Thames! Thames! Just Why pretend it's a guy named Tim owns the river and Why Tim's does river. It smell that way. It's so frustrating. <laughs> the Tim's it's, dorm. It's 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 British English. It's British, and they purposely change the way they talk to make themselves sound better than everyone else. Oh, oh, British. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole gag about it in the Cats movie, mm. which mm-hmm. I still haven't seen. Listen, I meant to go to a Rowdy Cats viewing and then quarantine happened. That's, I don't know what to tell you. I saw it yeah. in a Rowdy Cats screening and it's like being on drugs. It's amazing. If you don't do drugs, it's about as close as you'll ever get. Yeah. I was completely sober and I thought I wasn't. <laughs> I love so, it. Yes. I love it too. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> yes. um, over in... Over in the school theater, which is reopen, uh, that's the fun thing about going to a bougie private, uh, you know, school like this. They get stuff fixed, and we um, apparently have our own anime convention. Yeah, is Not it all just college. students from school, or do like people outside of school come to this convention? Uh, people from outside the school do come to the convention. Wow, yeah, it's very bougie. It's very bougie. I am definitely not basing it off my college's anime convention. Listen, um, <laughs> Lennox, Lennox is only like the fifth richest kid here. <laughs> what are riches? No family had more money than the Thatcher family, but I remember capitalism is hell. So, so where are you guys going? Uh, probably going to try find some place, kind of, sort of outside of like i think that we wanted to like wander the the convention um floor first but i think that manny kind of just keeps looking at kwame like like uh they've got like this very expectant and impatient look on their face like Mm -hmm. they want to know everything and Mm -hmm. like they kind of keep like like getting ready to ask a question and then remembering where they are and they like kind of back off a little bit and then like you know they'll get distracted by something shiny and pretty on the floor and then they'll like get Ooh, shiny like that idea in their head and they'll turn back to Kwame and, and get ready to ask a question again like they do this several <laughs> times where they're sort of like like they look very lost <laughs> it's <laughs> eight panels of the same thing in different locations uh Kwame and not is just kind of taking a seat on your shoulder and is like I'm enjoying this are you enjoying this this is funny to me I find this funny you know, it's funny, but I do b- believe some questions need to be answered. Hmm. Um, and as as he's walking, he'll speak up and, and to the others and say, if you want, we can grab a quick snack, head over to a place that's a little more private and have a conversation. Or, you know, we can peruse and get some comics or whatever you anime people do. Not my thing personally, but it's cute. So judgy. Um, Iris is has her eyes clenched shut because she's a little overwhelmed. And she's doing that thing where, like, um, you know when you're overwhelmed and you're walking through a hall and you're just like, I'll just hold on to the per- my friend's backpack and then they'll, like, drag me through the con. I she's doing that no on Manny's. That's like. How you doing <laughs> she's doing that on Manny's backpack, but she says like, "Kwame, I would agree that we go outside and away from here." I mean, we are outside, but you mean more outside, right? Oh, oh, away from from the the never-ending pressing mass of bodies. 
Uh, Manny like kind of uh, digs into their pocket and pulls out um, a lollipop uh, for Iris because they can tell that if if Iris's blood sugar gets any lower, they're that she's going to pass out. They just pass it back to Iris. And, like, have that. Yeah, we can we can go. Um, it's about time that I do my costume change for the day. I have three cosplays that I'm going to be in. So if there's a bathroom on the way, I'd like to do a costume change. All right. So the five of you make it to uh, kind of a more quiet place. Uh, it's generally where you would eat lunch outside anyway. Uh, there's a scattering of people hanging out, but not close to any of you. And there is the uh, girl's bathroom right there for Dolly to change. What's her second costume? Uh, it's it's Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon. Um, yes! And she's calling on Persephone to give her a new rose every time she does the whole thing. Okay, I'm not going to make you spend the AP for that just because it's too perfect. Um, so yes, Dolly, you receive a you have a rose and you are in boy drag. It is very good. You look very handsome. Thank you. My She's going to give a rose. She's just going to be handing out roses left and right at this point. So, I will admit I do not have all the answers, but a certain someone in my shoulder literally does. Oh, stop, stop. No, keep going. I like it. I like the praise. When exactly did the two of you bite each other? So, Kwame, you found your key of divinity literally just left in the quad one day. There was a path leading from the old gymnasium towards one of the dorms, uh, your dorm, actually. And it was a beautiful key of, like, reds and greens and blacks. Uh, and the head of the key was shaped like a spider. And when you picked it up, you received a Nazi. Um... I mean, it was a, a little bit ago, but found it just outside. Um, I have the key physically, right? Or no? Uh, you do still have a physical key you have, but it yeah. doesn't have power anymore. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll take it out and I'll show it. You see that the, the, the crimson sapphire and obsidian that it has um, with the spider head. Um, he just kind of looks at it and holds it in his finger. I had no idea what it meant. And uh, lo and behold, this man appeared. I can imagine that had to have been very interesting. Well, um, my family, um, mostly um, um, are from West Africa, you know, in that area. Um, and it wasn't too far-fetched, you know, when you hear stories as a child and they get ingrained within your brain and then that story becomes reality. Well, why not believe it? Why not take it in? So that's what I did. Wow, you sound so well-adjusted. <clears throat> well, when you have an egotistical spider on your shoulder 24-7, no offense. Oh. It's you you learn to do two other arms quickly. doing that. <laughs> how dare <laughs> dare you? So, so how long have you had a Nazi with you? <laughs> how long have I had a Nazi? Okay. You've had a Nazi about the three months since uh well, Orpheus made his escape. So for about about three months now. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, we're 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 that attuned to our divinities as well. And right. Who may I ask? You've seen this one. I can only assume Hello. you are attuned to someone quite beautiful. Speaking of Dahlia. Oh well, in fact I am. And I'm gonna have Persephone uh 
appear behind me. I'm going to call upon her. But uh, be- behind well, Dahlia appears a woman of bark and dirt and flowers and grasses. She is as beautiful as a spring morning. But Kwame, I'm afraid my heart is taken by another man. I appreciate your compliments, but Spiro, well, it's not really a thing yet, but he, his divinity is Hades, and it's kind of like, it's fate. It's got to happen. It will happen. But One like, day. But uh, like maybe uh, he, maybe, nose, no? maybe, maybe Spiro like uh, wants to make a different choice or whatever. We should leave that up to Spiro or I don't know. You know, in some countries, in some mythologies, if you will, the web of a spider represents fate itself. <laughs> so you would be surprised how many webs come off of that man. Oh, that's, I, I'm going to have to think about that for a second. <laughs> it sounds good when you say it. I think it's just your voice, but it, if I think about it, it sounds bad. What is bad? What is good? Justice. Huh. Speaking about what just is, I feel like that's a great uh, segue into Iris's divinity. Oh, oh cool. I just, well, I don't, it's really cool that everybody has such a, so much in common with their divinities. Um, so Iris is wearing her big puffer jacket and her hair is like a wild uh, kind of ratty mess. Her hair is like straight and black and she's tall and she has very like dark circles under her eyes and she's very sallow skinned. Um, and she's like, um, and I just, I just don't really see, you know, a lot of you guys, where does your divinity end and where do you begin? But, um, I don't really, um, I think Kali and I are, um, well, I'm scared all the time, um, of, of everything and also her, um, but she's very beautiful. Just don't look at her for too long. Behind Iris rises a void of darkness and space with piercing white eyes that look down at you, Kwame, and then down at Iris. And it shrugs. You know, the good thing about the story is that you can shape your own with simple words. You don't always have to be scared. Oh, I, I couldn't possibly, because what if the story wasn't good? Again, what is goodness? Oh, I have to ruminate on that. I'm going to get out a little notebook and write, what is goodness? <laughs> Question mark? And goodness knows. <laughs> um. <laughs> no one mourns the wicked. Yep. Mm. Lennox, you don't get a moment to discuss your divinity as out of nowhere, a large uh, man-sized jar with a bright, happy face appears in front of you, Kwame. Uh, It has reeds sticking out of it and it is laughing. Oh, (laughs) Oh, it's so good to see you, uh, Nancy. It's so good to see you. Oh. I was not sure if you were dead or not. I knew you weren't, but I wasn't positive. Oh, and look at you. You found such a handsome one. Oh, you all should be so lucky. I am that lucky, I'll have you know. Uh, Kwame, you now have reeds kind of pressing in on your cheeks a little bit, kind of like she's squeezing your face. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> That's I am Ninkasi, and this is my boy, Lennox. So. No, it makes sense. Mm. She's teaching me how to be uh, more open and flow like water. Water, right? Water. Okay, I, I've told you we are until you know. I'm 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 only sixteen, so it has to be water. If I join and the army, then maybe eighteen. But... club drunk. 
Okay, I didn't get them drunk. I just I just made it seem like they had been drinking so no one would believe them. A healthy approach. I approve. Listen, I can keep I am walking a very fine line. I'm aware of that, but like, you know, I'm walking it. Either way, very happy to meet you and very glad you're not dead. <laughs> he just looks at Anansi like, you know a lot of people. Good. Okay. I'm a uh, god. <laughs> and uh and this one, this one's mine. Ta-da. Yes, a sphere of gold with large wings and a piercing eye appears behind Manny. They look a lot like, you know, those Egyptian statues of like hawks and yeah. Mm -hmm. The minute you said it, I'm like, yeah. And Kwame has that that look of recognition where uh, he is a learned studious. He loves books. He loves to read. He loves stories in general. Um, He knows that one. He knows at least an idea of what that is, what what they are. Um, He says. Repping for the continent. Well, that's um, not unexpected, but good to meet you. Mm. It's lovely to meet you, Kwame, Maat says. And Anansi, uh, Kwame, you've never seen him do this before, but he's kind of skittered to the back of your neck <laughs> trying to hide a little. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm like, hmm, someone who can knock him off of his eight legs. <laughs> good to know. Uh, hello. Hi, it's good to see you, Maat. Uh, how's the husband? Oh, uh, doing fine. We we actually saw him a few weeks ago. A few? How many of us are running around here? Let's see. There's us five. There's Hades. There's Maat's husband. A uh, couple more here in I'm the I'm running out of legs. Loki. Um, Loki. Yeah. Loki. Also, Loki's uh, here. Yeah. Also, uh, Sun Wukong, uh, he's back in the dorm because he was very naughty. Uh, so Dionysus. Yeah. Skaven. Skaven is back in the dorm because nobody likes him. Whoa. He can't uh, hear me. Oh, no. It's very true. He is a disgusting rat. Uh, Quetzalcoatl is also with us. Um, we haven't uh, woken them up yet, though. No, we haven't. But we have their keys, and uh, there's one more. There's one more, Dahlia. You, you have, you have, you have one other one, don't you? I have Dionysus back in my room, yeah. and we, we, we had Orpheus, but Orpheus uh, gave himself for the safety of everyone else. Hopefully, we can get him back. Yeah. And where is Orpheus now? Absorbed into the great beyond or something of that nature. We're not exactly sure what happened, but he floated away like a mist. Yeah. You're it's okay, Dahlia. About a crow. What? And as no. he skitters out from behind your neck, Kwame, he was a crow. Why, are, why the emotions? He was my best friend, okay? Yeah. He helped me run scripts. He was my dance partner. He, he stayed up at night playing mash with me. I always got a mansion when he was the one on writing on the paper. We, he wasn't just a crow to us. Yeah, and plus he like, he had like powers and stuff. Like we put the whole dorm to sleep that one time. He was, he, he was a god. From the stories I know, Orpheus is not a god unless something happened. Well, he kind of was second-guessing himself in that way, too. There was a little bit of an identity crisis. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. Hmm. But, um... The many eyes of Anansi glance over you, Kwame. Um, You are familiar with what a crow is. A crow, Q-R-O-W, because anime. Um, They are creatures from... Well, the void. They are embodiments of negativity, misery, and they exist to cause pain and sorrow. 
You oh. might have fought of once. You might have fought one or two in your time with Anansi. Okay. But uh, yeah, Anansi uh, insists uh, this Orpheus fellow was a crow. So you're telling me one who, whose mere existence, the story they are meant to tell, is to bring about pain and destruction. This one help you. Yeah. He actually was the reason we gave um, the Phantom Queen her humanity back. Well, honest, along with Loki. Yeah, and honestly, like, um, like if it weren't for Ophrius, none of us would uh, have our divinity, and neither would you, because Orpheus is the one that, that got all these keys free from the Phantom Queen. And... Um, you seem to be operating under uh, an assumption that crows are bad, but um, might I quote a very wise person? And then she opens her notebook. What is good? And conversely, I offer you what is bad. She's got you there, Kwame. Please do not misinterpret my words. Oh, wait, that's like that thing that he said. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will attempt to quote you to yourself at least four more times. What I meant to say was, this one who was meant, who was, at the end of the day, their existence was to bring about what they were meant to bring about, helped you. The question is why? The question is why would one like that unleash these keys upon the five of us. The question is why wouldn't they reveal their true self in doing so? The question is what was their end game? You don't know about the Dean, do you? <laughs> Did you just scream? Your mouth was not open. That was crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if Anansi has told you this, but uh, the Dean actually also has divinity and used to, back in the day, give divinity out to a select few group of, of kids. Your uh, Anansi actually used to used to rock with uh, uh, a girl named uh, Gemma Rhodes. And the yeah. Dean... Again, you never asked. But then the Dean stopped because a kid got killed. It was Kim, whose divinity was the Phantom Queen Morgan. and But she's alive now. Yeah. And and the dean, um, when we tried to, uh, 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 oh, what's the word? Um, confront the dean about it. Um, he wanted to test our abilities, so he kicked Lenny in the back. And then we fought him emotionally. We destroyed him psychologically. <laughs> we tried to uh, to to destroy him psychologically. It didn't work out all all that well. Anytime we try psychological attacks, it usually ends up blowing up in our face. But now that we have you here, you're so wise. Maybe we'll be really good at psychological warfare. Mm -hmm. You know, male spiders typically get their heads bitten off by feet. I'm just saying um, we have a lot to discuss, Anansi. But in my defense, you never asked. You're going to keep saying that and you're still yes, right. Yes, I am. It seems to work most times. Not this time. Okay. Um, Whatever the case may be, obviously the five of us are connected in some way, shape, or form. And so I need all of you to roll me intelligence real fast. No good. Yes, my strong suit. <laughs> I, I'm for a four. I got, I got a, a crit success on my die. I got an eight. Nice. Got a ten, baby. All I right. Got a five. Uh, Eric, what'd you get? I got a four. Okay, everyone passed. Wow. Woo. So while you're having this kind of tense moment, um, you see something kind of round and cute come scurrying out of the grass. Um, at first you think it's just like a large rabbit. You know, North Point has a lot of bunnies sometimes. But then you notice it's kind of cotton candy pink. Uh, doesn't have any natural shading on it, and sort of resembles a jelly bean. And you all recognize it as Mokochu, uh, a very popular mascot from uh, a show called Mokochu and Friends. Why? 
What? Who? Huh? Why is Gamora? <laughs> no, 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 you beat me to no, it. No, 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 no. It stands on its hind legs. It's about three feet tall. It's making strange uh, meep noises. What and is that? It's from an anime. But it's here and it's alive! I'm confused. What if it's like someone's pet and they dressed it up or they dyed it to make it look like this? Because I follow a duck on Instagram that cosplays at conventions. And I need everyone to roll dexterity. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. You just five. need to beat a two. You say that. Four. You say that. Four. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, out of nowhere, in a beautiful, clear day, Lightning comes striking down on this thing. No, oh. it's fine. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. hello. Uh, can we help you, little one? Um, it looks up at you, Manny, and it gets very poofy all of a sudden. Oh. And hisses at you. And ah! I need everyone to roll initiative. And that is going to be your dexterity plus your speed. Okay. I like this dice. Okay, I like this game. This is cute. It's a this very cute game. little system. And, um, you know what? I'm not allowed to say that. I, I agreed. I wouldn't oh. say that. So I'm not going to say nothing. Don't worry what? about it. Don't worry about what? it. Don't worry about it. Steven. What? Count our fingers. Do it quickly. They're gonna go away. <laughs> wait, all right, no, all right. No, hold no, up, wait, hold no, up. No, hold there up. we go. We got nine from Kwame. No, we eight. Got, <laughs> we got eight from Kwame. <laughs> I can't count. Don't put this on me. Ah! Count seven mine from Aki. Uh, I can't. Uh, seven from Iris. Uh, four from Dahlia. And how much from Lennox? You can't read it. Do, 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 do. Eric, yeah. just tell me. <laughs> Three. Three. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, it's a scout salute. It is a scout salute. I was thinking honor, mocking right? day, but yeah. on my honor, yeah. I would do my best to do my duty to God. My... Wow. Yeah. I'll other people at all time. Keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. <gasps> I remember all that it's a cult, and it's dig it digs in your brain and it never gets out. Wow. I they, they teach didn't you, know that. They teach cultish behavior to children from a very mm -hmm. early age and so many is trustworthy. Ways out, trustworthy, Wait, friendly, friendly, uh, friendly curious, kind, obedient, cheerful, uh, thrifty, 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 reverent. Reverent. <laughs> reverent of what? God, obviously. What is happening? I used to go to Boy Scout uh like retreats because my brother was in it, and all I remember is eating an insane amount of pop tarts. Are you talking about Eric? We just became best friends. Just so you know, that's great. Uh, it's I, hard I not. Also to... Was trustworthy, <laughs> you're... helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you guys are in a cult. I, I think I you're was making a little good gay choices boy here. In Northern California, I didn't do Boy Scouts. I was, you know, oh. too busy. Trying try, to be a spice girl. Try growing up doing the Christian version of this for girls. Oh no. What what the, is what? that? Uh so everybody as a child when they're very young up until the age of 5 or 6 I believe starts out as a rainbow. Uh, and then that's where the girls and the boys split up. And following that I was a daisy and then no wait, I was a daisy. Yeah, it was a primrose daisy and then a star. Oh, and okay. uh in order to in order to graduate from being a star you had to read the entire bible. Um, what? Yeah, but it was essentially girl scouts for uh but that's the last like, time really I ever did like scouts? a really powerful gender. Um, so wow, that was the last time you did a gender. I like that. Oh my goodness! Man. All right. Wow. Um, but that being said, that means I have indeed read the entire Bible. Uh, How did they quiz you cover on the to Bible? cover? Did they give you like um, a pop quiz? No, you had to read chapters of it and then have your parents sign off on it. Um, my parents would have just signed off on it. This is no, so chaotic. I actually, uh, but I, but I also Welcome got like stream. we also got like badges and stuff. So like I learned how to I learned how to cross stitch and canoe and like all the stuff that Girl Scouts do essentially. Mm. Uh, I actually still cookies. really. What was this called? No, there were no cookies. Uh, no cookies. Uh, yeah. By the way, the rainbows. cookies for Girl Scouts this year suck. Really? Yeah. Oh no! They took away all the best ones. Wait, which ones did they take away? Quickly, quickly. 
Quickly, I need to know. Uh, the Lemonade Smileys. They no. Really? They have a new one that's called a Toast Yay, but they only sell it in like one city and it's supposed to taste like French toast. It's just, I, so I don't so need funny. to rant about this right now. Just, I have <laughs> a lot yes. of fun. Yeah, so, yeah, I apologize. I... Back to combat. Um, we're going to start <laughs> off with uh, uh, Aki, you are starting us off. You are being hissed at by this. Uh, looking at this thing, it's kind of like looking at a Murakami painting made 3D. So first of all, I feel like there needs to be some intel created uh, for the benefit of the party. So I would like to do like a, a uh, in-depth, um, uh, basically like lore check using the powers of Ma'at. Uh, awesome. I would like I would like to use my ability, uh, Revelation of Truth, uh, to learn more about what the fuck this thing is. Okay, you're going to spend an AP point and roll me power intelligence. And we're going to look, this one is not too complicated. I'm going to be looking for a five. Cool, 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 uh, I rolled a 10. All right. So as an adorable buddy boy, uh, but not a boy, <laughs> Manny, uh, you are able to parse together. This is a creation of a divinity. Um, this looks like, this is definitely uh, Mokochu. This is the adorable little mascot of Mokochu and Friends. Uh, and it is a shonen battle anime, so they do fight, you know. It, it's, it, don't think about it too hard, Pokemon, all right. But uh, someone used the divinity power to bring this thing to life. It's not alive, though, I will tell you that. You could definitely beat up this thing and not feel too guilty about it. Definitely fight that. But I don't think we're alone. All right. So that was your turn. We now go to Kwame. Kwame sees this thing and looks over at Anansi and say, we can create things. You did not do that, correct? I, we don't watch that show. That was good enough of an answer. Um, I'll look over at this thing and I'm like, you know, like even though he know he got he got some muscle on him, he kind of he's stepping us, he's taking a step back, uh, because you know, he don't fight. No, <laughs> good on that. Um, but he does look, um, and uh, he says, uh, hopefully I can buy us some time. Let me spin you a story in which you were engaged, um, and I'm trying to create a a box. Uh, around him that he at least for now can't get out of. <laughs> okay. right. um, just trying to, uh, yeah. If you haven't caught on yet, um, uh, Allison Hargreaves, Umbrella Academy, rumor. <laughs> That's what he can do. Uh, anywho, uh, but One of my uh, favorite shows. Hey. Um, so you're what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be creating a condition for uh, Mokochu to deal with. Okay. Basically. Uh, you're going to make it so Mokuchu has to roll above a certain number or something bad happens. In this case, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and roll me, spend an AP point, mm -hmm. and give me charisma and power. <laughs> Using my Black Lives Matter dice. Uh, uh, okay. Charisma and power. <gasps> 15. Oh, okay. Uh, that gives it a condition of eight boxed in. So it has to roll above an eight for it to do anything because it's in a stupid box. And uh, I'll, yeah, and I'll say, I'll say, I did what I could. Figure this out. <laughs> I do have to ask: Does it look like a pokeball? Is it like a um? Oh n n no! Um. Um. <laughs> I think if anything, it looks like um, um, a box of um, like spider webs almost began to just like grow and just kind of encase it and then hardened. Um, so it's like just just kind of stuck there. I would go with the reality theme with that. He's like, no, <laughs> mm -mm, not playing your game. But yeah. Mm. Okay, Iris, you're up next. Okay, well. Iris is getting pretty tired of having all of these school events being traced back to her. 
Um, so she is going to ask Kali to create um, a, a bubble, like a, a mirror of a bubble universe around them so that everybody else that's out there sees th this group as something that they would not want to come near or it was just something that they would like glaze over as they looked at it, which unfortunately she's not delusional. Iris has many things. She's not delusional. And it ends up being a school safety squad booth that people would just <laughs> have no interest in coming up to. So she's, that's what she's going to do. Okay. I love that. Um, this is going to be intelligence power mm -hmm. and make sure to spend the AP point. Okay. Oh, shooties. I do not have the link up. Uh, I'll I'll open that later and, and deal with that. Uh, so it's just intelligence? And power. Intelligence and power. Not intelligence plus range. Uh, you're not doing an attack. Oh, no, so... no. You're right. You're right. You're right. So sorry. No. So sorry. Apologies. Apologies. Uh, so intelligence and power, which is here. Okay. 14. Okay, uh, we will call this Bubbled 7. You have created a secondary universe uh, out just bubbled around you guys where the five of you are sitting at a school safety squad uh, booth. With like lots of flyers to pass out. So many flyers, so many dead trees. Iris, you monster. Mm -hmm. um, okay, next up, Dahlia. Oh God. Um, so this little rabbit thing is in a box that Kwame made or mm -hmm. is contained. Yes, it's stuck in a box. It's slashing, it's clawing, it's biting. You see sparks coming off of it, but it's uh, pretty in there. I would like to um, I would like to give us cover from the lightning strikes from above. So I'd like to use Persephone's power to, basically create like a really thick rainforest canopy above us that would stop any kind of I'm light. actually going to say that won't be necessary because Iris made a bubble universe around you all. But would I know that as Dahlia? That's a good point. So if you still I want to- I want a metagame. So I'd, I'd like to do that. It would be contained okay. in her universe so no one else would see it, but- Okay. Totally. Uh, that is going to be defense and uh, intelligence. Spend an AP point. Okay. Defense and intelligence. I got a 12. Okay. So on top of bubble, se uh, bubble seven, correct? Yes. Bubble seven, you now have uh, root six. Cool. All right. So... Uh, next up is Mokochu. He's going to try to break out of his thing with an explosion. Uh, he does not. I rolled a seven. You need to get at least an eight, uh, because of Kwame. So, oops. Sparks are flying everywhere. Uh, if it was drier, it would probably be a fire hazard. But thankfully, this is this is Oregon. You're okay. Uh, next up is bottom of the row, Eric. Okay, so is the box that he is in completely solid, or is it like more like a cage? Um, Kwame. Sorry, sorry, say one more time. Is the is the box that he is in? Is it like a solid thing, or is it is it like more like a cage? I think it's more of a cage type thing. Good. Uh, yeah, it, there has hole. It's a spider web, so you still yeah. can see through it now. I think things like that. Good, good. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna then send a crashing wave of, of water at it, <laughs> as as like my form kind of like becomes watery as like I project like this like crashing wave at it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so go ahead and this is going to be a basic uh, magician attack. Yes, it is. Uh, which I believe is range and intelligence. That is correct. Uh, minus two. That is correct. You on both accounts. That's not a D eight. That's 
make sure I got all the right dice. Okay, that is uh, 11. Uh, that is definitely going to hit. Go ahead and roll your uh, damage. Yep. And that is going to be 10 damage. Oh, boy. Okay, so it got a 2 on its defense. Um, Lennox, you crash into this thing, and it's unable to get off any sort of attack, and it dissolves inside your liquid form. And when you turn salt again, you have, like, it, it looks kind of like a, a pen blew up on you. Oh. Oh. Uh. This thing was incredibly weak, and we are out of combat. Oh, gross. Lennox, it's on you! Ah. Uh. I think it's inside me too. <laughs> uh, I did not. I didn't think I would be absorbing it. Things normally like take a hit. You know, they don't just pop. Ah, uh. I just like I go over to Linux um, with consent. I like patch your face, and as I say that, I say, "Let me spin you a story in which you were clean." To just like clean you up. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, go ahead and give me charisma and power and spend the AP point. I got you. Um, While Kwame is taking care of Lennox, Manny actually manifests their sword and immediately starts looking around the space, like looking into the tree line, looking like kind of along the ground. Like they are, they are, they are still very much on guard um, uh, because, yeah. And they kind of explain as as Kwame uh, like the like the origin of this creature, how it it was manifested by someone's divinity, like and like while still very much like sword in hand, kind of. And as you look around, uh, all thing all seems well until you start hearing screaming from the artist alley, and we are going to take a very quick break now. Do we want to go 13, ahead and? By and, the way, okay. Hmm? That was a thirteen, by the way. Oh, hell yeah. No, Lennox, squeaky clean. Uh, in fact, it looks, you look a little nicer than you did earlier. Yeah, his, his hair is a lot more, his hair is now, he, ha he now has like Dragon Ball Z hair. <laughs> his muscles are like a little oiled. Yeah. <laughs> it's squeaky like, clean and so handsome. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 Kwame's eyes look a little bit, but respectfully ish. <laughs> I'm looking respectfully. <laughs> you know, like the spiders have more than two eyes. Like he's looking, but you can tell that like there's something a part of him that's not looking at his face. Looking <laughs> at other spots. <laughs> I mean, beer god. All right, so we're going to take a very tight five, and we'll be right back. Don't go away. When you see this parade, what do you see? You see people from all walks of life, owning their power unapologetically and using it for those who need it. You see resilience in a thousand forms, the strength to stand up despite so many reasons to sit down. You see imagination at every turn, a brilliance shared by creative minds, writing stories, solving problems, and painting pictures that will become our history. You see the unrivaled diversity of our people, our ideas, and the ways we're building our future. You see the energy that guides us, that drives us, that promises we're a part of something big and growing. This is not a parade, this is pride. Pride isn't going anywhere because pride is everywhere.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia as we continue to raise money for the Trevor Project. Uh, we are joined by a special guest star, Critical Bard. Everyone give him a little yay. 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 Love you. And Hello. thanks to you guys at home raising money for the Trevor Project, we are going to do a card draw real quick. Now, these tarot cards represent the characters, and they also represent the world around them. And we draw them. Might be good, might be bad, usually entertaining. Uh, Aki, why don't you go ahead and give me a number between one and three? Mm. Whose cat is that? Rumpelstiltskin. Is it your cat? Oh. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> is his name actually Rumpelstiltskin? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, it's really funny because I think I heard your cat meowing earlier and thought it was mine. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was mine. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Because we have uh, a lot of cats in the show. Yeah. Let's go with um. Let's go with one. All right, one. The card we have drawn is the sun in the upright position. So, uh, it it we are going to say it is a beautiful, shockingly warm day, like one of those days where you like you come out and you're wearing the several layers and you're like, oh, I don't need this today. Awesome. Uh, and I'm also going to replenish everyone's AP back to max for that. Wow! Large and bright and wonderful. I will say, though, Iris, suddenly you are regretting the poofy jacket. Oh, yeah, drenched in flop sweat. <laughs> Completely drenched, but she's not going to take that thing off. No, 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 no. Kwame uh, is going steps. to uh, um, um, lower his, his the, the, the top half of his jumper uh, as it gets a little hot. And yes, he is glistening and, and nice looking underneath. Uh, but he's not like, he's not gloating about it either. He's just like, ooh, it's a little hot in here. Out it's here. not he, Spiro who's like, yes, hello, look at me. No, he's just I, very I'm respectful. really worried at this point that Dolly is going to run out of blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But how about this? Um, uh, I will give you a name to look up if I can remember his dang name. Um, uh, uh, Look up Kofi Sirabo. That's Kwame. Oh okay, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dahlia will be having nosebleeds left and right. <laughs> yes, Dahlia, you are staring at Kwame. You don't want to. You don't want to cheat on uh, Spiro. But oh my god, <laughs> the thought of Spiro. Who? Cheat on the thought of Who? Spiro. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Sp Spir Spyro, Spyro the Dragon. Uh, I don't know who we're talking about. Why are we talking about PlayStation One games? But uh, another thing before we get going, we well, I say we mostly you guys. Thank you again. We're raising money for a really good cause. So, uh, Eric, Monami, I need you to put on the filter because you are going to be giving an anime hot take now. Like which filter we talk? I mean, we can do the distant one, but okay. absolutely the distant okay. hot one. I just, I know, like Miyazaki makes tremendous movies, but it's not fucking anime. It's just animation. It's not anime. Anime is a genre, and Miyazaki is just a a great filmmaker. The hottest of hot takes. Yes. Uh, also, we just are... because he's Japanese doesn't make it anime. <laughs> Very. I mean, true. I didn't want to. I, I I was gonna. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna be like. This is a bad um, time to mention. We are this close to watching Spirited Away as yay! a group watch, but it's not anime apparently. I mean, honestly, I I don't think you're wrong, Eric. I, I don't. I, think I that, agree. I think that Ghibli films kind of live in their own sort of like sphere like it is an anime style of drawing but in and Some of itself of them, yeah. i don't think yeah i, I actually I, yeah. agree with you i agree yeah. too no. um so we are 20 dollars away from our next draw and we are this close to doing a watch along spirited away so help out a good cause maybe win something and we'll see what happens next so when before we went on break, you all heard a scream coming from the Galana dorms, uh, where the artist alley has been set up. Uh, you just dealt with the Moko Chu creature thing that turned back into ink after it was attacked. Um, 
As the five of you make your way to the Galana dorm, you see people exiting in mass, and inside you see a beautiful gar guardian, Twinkly Moon. Not a cosplay, not a person. The anime character, she's relatively popular. You know, it, she's she's no Sailor Moon, but she's getting there. She's getting there. Um, and she is fighting a large lobster-shaped man creature. Is it Larry? Uh, it looks a little bit like Larry, but enough for you to be like, okay, I don't think we could sue them. What is happening? What is going on? I thought Pretty you were girl the one beam! Who... I thought you oh. were the one who spun stories. This is more like a tall tale. I'd call it more a fan fiction. Wait, that's not Spiro's voice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was not British. She's French. <laughs> uh, I'd call it more a fan fiction. Uh, Dahlia, Iris, Manny, Lennox. Uh, glad I will not it. be affected by you. Uh, uh, yeah, he's now uh, scraped up and a little dirty and still mostly naked. Oh, uh, and sweaty. You seem to have some cuts on you. Um, one second, I think I have some some salve in my bag. I'm gonna be like Persephone. Give me some like antibiotic cream, what? please. Huh? What? Um, huh? No. Huh? What? I was just talking to myself. Um. No, no, no that was Persephone. She's <laughs> definitely distracted as well. Oh, I'll, come on. I'll pass Dahlia some um some gauze from my bag. Oh, thank you, Iris. Um. Spirit. My entire team is a disaster. I would have to touch you, <laughs> if that's okay. If it's you, it's more than okay. Oh God! Nosebleed. Oh man! <laughs> Nosebleed. Just, give me a strength. Give, go ahead and give me a strength roll, real fast. Just honestly posting up behind Dahlia <laughs> every time. Just the thirst. This is, is real. This is. Uh, just... I got a crit for. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Um, you are proud of yourself because it's only... Oh. Are you okay? You've been bleeding from the nose a lot today. Yeah, it's hot out. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't noticed. I'm mostly naked. Um, and as you guys uh, converse, there are bright pink rays of light just shooting around every so often you smell fish as cartoonish fish are pulled out of the linoleum and flung yeah. at uh this magical girl crashing like, into booths yeah i would like to cut through this illusion and like make the lie go away please um okay maat attempts to power up and nothing changes. Huh? What did you try to do? I. Uh, we have an ability to reveal the truth. We we that's what we do. No lies, no illusion, just the truth. That what's going on? They're not many. I don't believe they're illusions. I believe they're present <clears throat> i'm going to look around is there because there's probably a lot of chaos lots of screaming is there anyone who is doing one of two things one isn't moving isn't isn't scared or two someone who is feigning fright but still very attent on what's going on oh very smart. Why don't you go ahead and give me intelligence? Yeah, this will just be intelligence if you're not going to use a Nazi for this. Am I going to use a Nazi? Let me think. Um, um, yes, I'm. Oh, yeah, I, I am. And as I'm, as I'm looking, I'm going to say. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, what's the what's a word for someone who um, 
the uh, the 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 one who I'm I'm sorry I'm blanking on like actual terminology now. Someone who is the cause of of a problem. What would you call them? Perpetrator. Uh, the, the, yeah. Uh, yeah the perpetrator. Perpetrator. Um, perpetrator. There you go. Thank you. Um, and as I'm looking, I say, "Let me spin you a story in which the perpetrator stepped on the wrong web." Um. And trying to find the the source of the problem, um, so yes, I will one hundred percent use Anansi to help me. I'm gonna assume you said intelligence or power and intelligence. No, yes, I don't uh, know these things. yes, this will be range intelligence. Range intelligence, okay. Using an AP point. Hmm? Using an AP point, correct? Yes, absolutely. Yes, okay. I'm learning uh, range <laughs> and intelligence. Okay. <laughs> uh, that. Ooh. Uh, oh. Um. I. I. Blah blah blah. Math. Um. Twenty one. Twenty one. <laughs> that was. Yeah. I, the max I can get is a twenty two. Uh. So I was like, oh, so close. I love it. <laughs> um. So Anansi. Uh. I accidentally muted myself. Uh. Anansi and you. Uh. Suddenly, you don't have eight eyes, but you have the perception of something that does for a brief moment. And you look around. The perpetrator is not here, but they were. Mm. Whoever did this is gone. A mystery, you say? Interesting. And uh, Manny launches themselves forward with their sword and just tries to cut this uh, magical girl in half. <laughs> not the lobster <laughs> okay all right uh that is this is going to be well, i mean they'll go for the lobster too but the magical girl is trying is is a uh, is a uh, uh, attempting to be cuter than they are and they're not having it so oh that's illegal okay uh go ahead and give me intelligence and uh Actually, no, you're a guardian. So yeah, I'm a guardian. Hit, uh, that's strength and defense, correct? Correct. Plus two. Plus two. Do, do, do. Oh, almost a max roll there. That was very good. That is a uh, 13. Awesome. You absolutely hit. Oh, sorry. 13 my, plus two, 15. You absolutely hit. <laughs> All right, let me roll my damage. Uh, this is slightly less. This is uh, only going to be five. five. Okay. Um, you slice her in the middle, and it looks like ink because the pour out of the wound. Um, and when the two halves of the body crash into the ground, they just dissolve into puddles of paint and ink. Iris is going to push Lenny out of the way of it. <laughs> and then and it then I guess if we're, if we're not doing proper initiative here, like I think that the, with this momentum of the swing from that attack, they kind of turn around and like basically do the same thing to the lobster. <laughs> um, as you got that surprise attack off, we skipped initiative. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, you can go ahead and get another attack off this thing before we have to roll. Julio, that's going to be 12. Uh, 12 hits. Uh, but only two damage. Ah, well, let me roll its defense. Nope. You hit, you attempt to stab at this lobster monster, and it just raises an arm and clink! It actually is physical. It's tangible. And I need everyone to roll initiative, which oh. is uh, dex and speed. Cool. Four again. I, I think that if Kwame looks into this hard enough, they will probably get the impression that Manny is trying to impress them. Isn't or is? Is. Oh, mm -hmm. Manny! <laughs> Manny's adorable. We all love Manny. So, oh my Iris. god! Wow! Wowie! Wow! 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 What? 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 So you know my speed. My wait. 
my speed so my dex is a d6 and my speed is mm -hmm. a d10 and i rolled a six and a nine oh which is one nice and two almost maximum that i can roll so that's 15 on my initiative i love it um all right uh lennox kwame nine eleven nine 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 nine, nine, nine. Okay, and this thing is going to act on eight. So, uh, critical. Mr. Bard, if you will. What'd I do? Uh, nothing. You did nothing. I'm just going to explain. Uh, <laughs> you don't have a two hit number in this game. Your two hit is your initiative. So, basically, the better initiative, the harder it is to hit you in a combat. Uh, mm -hmm. So, like, I, like, right now, they have to get, like, above a nine to hit me. Mm-hmm understand okay mm. yeah, which i think is very fun and it's the same for them like we have to get over their initiative to hit them yes which is an eight yeah. seven eight seven yes eight. eight okay mm -hmm. Gaulty. okay i'm here for this you manny uh you are kicking off this combat so when the uh the lobster girl comes up and deflects their sword they uh they come down with it across the carapace bring it up over their head and try one more time to like slice through them. It's just like, I hope everyone likes lobster. Roll to hit. Uh, that's going to be a 13. That will hit. And then that is going to be uh, an 11 minus two, which is a nine. Okay, um, you hit it for a lot. It slices through one of the arms, and you see it slowly start to regenerate, but it is definitely in pain. You got a nine on your roll, correct? Me? Uh, yes. For damage? Nine damage, yes. yes. Okay, yeah. All right, it's still standing. Uh, next up is Lennox. All right, uh... Lennox is gonna he's he's going to uh, embrace his inner Vegeta as he's dressed somewhat similar to him. Uh and, That's the and best Goku in channels Vegeta. <laughs> the <laughs> blasphemy. Yeah. And he's uh, go he's going to fire like a beam of water, like he like like a energy like a key attack. You mean a Kamehameha? No, a Kamehameha is this where Vegeta goes this. Mm. There's different attacks. You want, no, Fair he's enough. gonna do. He's gonna do the the finger point. We just got well actually here on yeah. um, Sammy Throw Show in this here stream. Here, this is everybody. like the third well actually I've done in this marathon. That's not even. Yeah, we're 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 we're, we're doing a great job here. The hetero is Listen, out of control. As a white man, I can't help it. <laughs> okay, you hetero, go ahead and roll the hit. Oh my god. All right. But I can uh, say that I have a gay friend. <laughs> Strength, I have a gay friend. And <laughs> intelligence. Which one? Or where's uh, there? It is. I'm. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah. The the both of them are the highest numbers that they, they can be. Uh, so, so that's that, a crit. Yeah, that's a critical. God damn, Lex. It's technically a twenty to hit. <laughs> So go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Much less, I'm sure. Not necessary. Not necessary, though. I just want to see what you get. Okay. Uh, damage is a. That would be seventeen. As he goes, <laughs> and it's just like a little bead, and then, and like it's it's it it's supposed to look like a key attack, but it's literally like like one of those pressure jets of water that they use to cut steel. <laughs> you know, it's just like. <laughs> So, Lenny, describe how you destroy this thing. Uh, he he, he g grabs his his, uh, his wrists, he points, and then fires out this this like tight beam of 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 liquid that literally like it it pierces through the thing so quickly that it doesn't even notice. And it looks down, and then it goes huh, and then it just goes and explodes. <laughs> Manny, you are covered in ink. Uh, 
this artist alley is covered in ink and paint, but you have killed this thing to death. Uh, and you are out of combat. Yeah, no. <gasps> Dolly is just to the side like, uh, oh, oh, okay. We're done? Okay, cool. <sighs> I'm Lenny, up. it's in you again. <laughs> no, this time it's in me. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> And the unfortunate thing is that now I really want lobster, and that that's not what I got. Oh, lobster sounds good. Should we go to Red Lobster? The sodium content in their meals is too high. Oh, but so tasty. We all can afford better than than Red Lobster. Yeah, like uh, I, I got a I got a lobster guy. If we want lobsters, was this okay, a Spiro well. that said that? And that was Spiro. Oh, I, I love Red Lobster. It's my favorite restaurant. I go but, there all the time, every Sunday. Dahlia, what about your blog post that you wrote about your really bad experience there? No, I was playing a character in the blog. That oh. Was, that was for research. I was oh. I'm a role play blog? Because you were, you were locked in your room for like three days straight, and you said, don't talk to me, food poisoning, Red Lobster. Yeah. yeah. That's why I love it. It makes me feel alive. <laughs> well, this um, <clears throat> conversation about crustaceans is quite nice. We still have a problem on our hands. We can grab a, a hot dog or a um, chicken kebab on their way, but we need to figure this out. I think you're right. I, I, I'm curious um, about the way that uh, your, your ability works. Um, uh, obviously, you have uh, a, an ability to manifest things through speaking, uh, and saying them makes them true. Um, but I, I'm curious as to as to what other things uh, you and Anansi have gotten up to um, uh, it, it's within, like the realm of his abilities and your imagination. Like as you can see, I have a sword. It is a sword of truth. But I can do other stuff, too. It is a very nice sword, and you did quite well against um, that magical one. Thank you. Uh, I, I do not know the full potential of my power, I will admit. Um, there is a form of... When we speak, and I, I look at Dahlia for a second. When we speak, when we perform, we believe what we say to be true. We take on that role, Right? I can manifest that with the help of this one right here. Hello. Though I... Perhaps it is my own... Um, I might be uh, quite charming, but truthfully, I can have confidence issues. I did as a kid. Um, potentially um, speaking the... The pre-words beforehand helps. So if I spin that story, then it happens. But I can't, you know. I spin the story that, you know, the, the earth turns in the opposite direction. Can't do that. Um, wow. At least not yet. That makes so much sense. Uh, now... Wait, have we all seen that picture of uh, Jason Momoa sneaking up on Henry Cavill uh, on the red, <laughs> red carpet? <laughs> yeah. uh, Spiro is going to do that to Kwame. As like, Kwame, you get a bear hug from behind. You get shaken a little. Mm, you uh, have a divinity. Oh, uh, no, I do not have a divinity. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I was... He puts you down. Trying to, mm, <coughs> Do oh. not know what you are talking no, about. No, because he has one too. Wait, what? Yes. yes. Behind him appears a uh, flaming vortex of Earth. Um, Hades! Huh. Ah. And then he like looks at Spiro, looks at Dahlia, looks back at Spiro, Makes sense. (laughs) 
Ah, oh, man, I, oh. Wait, I thought there were only five keys. How did you get yours? Unless I am. There was There's a... like a million. Loki there was a was hole in the sky. Yeah. yeah, Loki was like, Wing. you get a key. Loki was like the Oprah Winfrey of keys for a little bit. That sounds like him. Yes, I, I uh, haven't met Loki. I haven't really. They have all these adventures and they don't include me. He rests his head on your shoulder, Kwame, and fakes cries a little. I guess like, He's not a great actor, Talia. <laughs> he has yet man. to master the fake cry. Mm. We'll work on it. You'll work on it. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. One on ones. So, uh, um, that is what I can do. And uh, I try to make this world a little better as I can. Keep everybody smiling for now. I love this news and I love you and I love all of this, but I am concerned. Where did lobster come from? Did I see, even though I knew the person, whoever did it is gone, can I tell a direction they went to like, what did I get from that before? Uh, you can tell their threads walked away. Basically the thread of, you know. Yeah. The universe and their story. Yeah, uh, I mean, they, they, did it walk away into a certain direction in the area versus like just yes, to... it was heading out to the quad, and it looked like it was heading into the uh, panel area. Okay. Um. At least we do have a thread, haha, <laughs> wink, to go on. Um, whoever did this, this lobster and magical girl and potentially the thing outside, um. They went towards the quad. What's uh, the thing outside? Mo Mo Mocha Frap Mocha Mo Mocha Chin Mo Mocha Chu Mocha Chu. I don't know that stuff. I think it was oh. like a Pikachu or something. No, it's Lennox. like a little jelly bean thing. Lennox, it looks like you just shat in Spiro's soup. Oh, saying that crushed his spirit and his soul and he has never looked more hurt i don't know which pikachu it is but it was one of those he begins uh, do any of you speak french way no i don't i'm about to say if i was originally with baron Zavity, <laughs> i would have but no not now <laughs> he does not speak french <laughs> Wait, I th you know what? I think Iris speaks French because she is very wealthy. It seems like her parents would hire some kind of tutor for her to have learned a little bit of French. I think Kwame is with many languages. Can't under really understand it that well. He can pick up words. He's read a lot. Therefore, he picks up that. Dahlia because, would know enough it? French like Moulin Rouge from Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? <laughs> <laughs> so Dolly is useful at a French discotheque. Good to know. Yes. Uh, French, French <laughs> is one of the ling like one of the languages that is spoken in Egypt. So I think that Manny probably has like a basic understanding of some French. So Lenny okay. speaks no French and will not understand a word of it. <laughs> Lenny speaks French fries. <laughs> <laughs> that was my lunch. Um, okay, so Manny, you can pick up some words, not a lot. Dahlia, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Iris, however, you are able to understand everything. And it is one of those, like, pedantic nerd rants coming from <laughs> one of the most beautiful men you've ever seen in your life. And it is a very conflicting feeling. Mm -hmm. How do you not know the difference between Mocha Chu and Pikachu? Just because they have to chew in their name does not make them the same thing. How dare you? How dare you? I don't care if you have good arms and look good in this outfit. You have no taste, good sir. How dare you get those things confused? I am offended. I The art form, the art form of it all. You, you! <clears throat> Spiro stomps out. We'd be picking out the, like, Pikachu. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, he seemed on, really upset for no good reason. Yeah, he's really good to look at, but honestly, if he were to join the group full time, I think it would throw off the group dynamic. He's good to look at. Yeah, yeah. I I hadn't noticed. Deep down, I had noticed. 
No, but I guess think uh, Kwame and, and Anansi both look at Linux like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I can tell that you all seem to think that he's nice to look at, and I, I like so. And and I mean, yes, there are there are muscles and abs, and I am no uh, theoretically what that means. And how people react to Spiro whenever they see him. You uh you forgot the butt. He has a very nice butt. And he's a, Nazi, a bad boy. A Nancy freaks up. Okay. And he plays guitar. Uh-huh. Like I said, theoretically I understand why all of these things put together make Spiro uh slightly um uh I believe that you are correct. He would throw off the balance of the team, Iris. I don't think we'd get much done with him around. Either so anyway. way, are we going <laughs> to this, the quad or what? They are going, whoever this was went to one of the panels. <laughs> that might be happening soon. Sure, let's go. Actually, do do we have like a pamphlet or a flyer or anything like that? Uh, of, like, yeah, a there, list of events or things that, that are going to happen. There are pamphlets with uh, all of Sat, all of Sunday's events. Uh, and yeah. Right uh, now. Oh, sorry. Manny pulls it out and opens it up. All right. Right now, there are three events going on: intro to voice acting, uh, portfolio review. And uh, the great sub versus dub debate. So, um, let's see. Putting on mystery thinking cap. And I really wish I had my detective hat handy. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Spider spin zoom. <laughs> Let me spin you a story in which Manny manifested a hat. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Manny just carries this thing around. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Aw. I love. Okay. Count of the Baskerville. Damn. Uh, Mystery thinking cap. Here we go. So, we noticed it first out in the quad, outside, and then again in Artist Alley. So, I would say that this person at least likes art. Is there something in common with the three things that were uh, 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 manifested? Maybe that will give us a hint. Uh, well, when all three of them died, they exploded in a puddle of ink. Oh! I, I don't know if that's relevant. It is, Lenny. Oh, you did it. You really did it. It is relevant. Oh, nice. How? What if they're drawing them to life? What if they're doing yeah. drawings and it's making it come to life? I feel like there's one panel here where that kind of interest would definitely apply. You said ink. Yeah. Divinity. So God of knowledge. Someone who writes. Or got uh, somebody who, uh, a god of art, perhaps. Or a god of art. Goddess of art, my apologies. A deity surrounding the world of art. Hmm. Like a muse or somebody. Oh. What again are, were the three panels? I know there was one specifically about art, but. Yes, there was a portfolio review with some uh, publishers. There was the subs versus dubs debate. And there was the uh, intro to voice acting. I think we know which one we probably want to hit up. Yeah. And it's not subs versus dubs, right? Because I don't feel like getting into a fist fight again this year. <laughs> what side of that debate does Lennox fall on? Oh, God. <laughs> Listen. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's I'm so all scared. about the original intentions of the voice actors. You can't change that. Then you're just changing. Then, like, Lenny like, needs to save this for the next anime hot take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, all right, all right. If we get 200 like, more dollars, we'll all give a hot take. How about that? Cool. So, portfolio review? Yes. Portfolio Although he always wanted to voice act. 
That seems like that's right up your alley, Dahlia. You have a nice voice. <gasps> Thank you, Manny. I think you have a nice voice, too. You guys make it through the quad with no issue. Uh, the fire department has arrived, though, and they are there are mumblings about how they might have to evacuate the entire convention. Um, as you make it through into the uh, Tim's, I said it right, I said it right, you all saw it, uh, dorm, uh, you find the line for the portfolio review going out the out the door. And in that line, you see Nanako. Who's Nanako? Nanako is Iris's best friend. She is the vice president of the school safety squad. And she looks just as surprised to see you guys as she, as uh, you'll probably see her. Nanako, are you bringing your art to be reviewed? Iris! Hi. What, what is no, it? No, 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 no. Um, um, uh, this, this, this is, uh, um, who's your, who's your, who's your friend? Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, Kwame, this is, this is not a co, my best friend and, um, co-chair of the school safety squad. I almost spilled your secret. I'm not going to spill it. I'm not going to spill it. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Kwame, I didn't need me. It's uh, very, very nice to meet you, Kwame. Um, uh, yeah, no, they, they're apparently doing uh, written uh, reviews as well, and I um, write sometimes, but uh, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Hi. Hi, hi Lennox. I like oh. your shirt. Oh, thank you. It's, it's like, it's really tight. I noticed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when he picks things up, sometimes I wonder, oh no, are the seams going to split? She slowly turns her head to you, Iris. <laughs> and Nanako is not capable of a death glare, but it's as close as she can get. No, it's Aww. it's pretty, like, it's a pretty solid shirt. Like, I mean, if I, and he flexes, and then, like, one of the straps on the thing f breaks and falls, so now it looks like <laughs> battle damage. To the, it's like, ah, oh, crap. Oh. Uh, the yeah, papers go flying up. into the air as she faints. Blood. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Do her does her does her writing all over the place? Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna try and collect it so that people don't see it. I don't know. Uh, Manny is Lenny also had trouble looking... lifting me up in the elevator earlier. So how strong can he really be? <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, well, if, like, I mean, I could try it again. Like now that I have like free range of motion, you know. I don't uh, want to give Sparrow the wrong idea. Manny also kneels down to help Iris, but as they do, they like look up at Kwame and kind of try to catch his eye and kind of like gesture to all of the art all over the floor. Um, because as they're picking it up, they're looking at all of it very closely. Mm -hmm. And Kwame, I mean, doesn't really know uh, Nanako in general. So when they got into this area, um, as they fall, you know, kind of taking this as an opportunity to kind of like step away just a little bit and again invokes Anansi um, as he speaks the words to figure out where that thread led into here. Who awesome. could it be? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to actually have you roll this time because... Ah, God, sorry. I hit myself. <laughs> don't, don't do that. I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, you rolled really well last time, so I'm going to say, as you step away, uh, and it's it just like a couple, just a, a couple of steps, just just a yeah, little, just bit. a couple yeah. of steps. Uh, everything turns black with the white lines of you're doing the X-ray anime vision, mm -hmm. and you see the threads of fate throughout, um, and you are able to follow it, and you see a. Uh, Kind of hunched over young man drawing furiously in a notebook. Uh, he looks kind of sleep deprived and definitely not pleasant. Uh, he wears an oversized t shirt with a uh, Chinese character on it. And go ahead and give me an intelligence roll to see if you know him. How long did it take you to master whistle tone, by the way? Um, 
Because that is so freaking All right, cool. Mariah Carey. I love that. That is so uh, cool. It is so, people don't understand how hard Whistletone is, so I'm like really impressed. Sorry. Sorry. You have no idea who the hell this kid is. I guess look, but I don't think I need to know him. Um, but I, uh, the thread is leading there, and I go, huh. I look back down at Manny, um, and if Manny happens to look back up, I just shake my head to say it's not them. And and Manny nods and just and, and immediately stops looking at Nanako's art, uh, hoarding her her privacy, and it just helps Iris continue to gather up the pieces of paper. Iris, do you look? No, I don't look. Okay. I am loyal. I purposely am like doing this. <laughs> So I think there is a small level of, of disappointment on Manny's face that you see when you shake your head at them. Uh, but yeah. Um, while the commotion's happening, is Linux helping up Dahlia? Or has it happened? Are you trying to parse time? Uh, you guys were having that conversation about lifting up Dahlia. I don't know if you did or not. I mean, I'll lift you if I can. Like, and, you know, now that I'm not in a crowded elevator, I could definitely do it. <laughs> I'll just looking for... around to make sure Spiro is not in the vicinity. <laughs> I just want to be clear that y'all are arguing about this while Nanako fainted and <laughs> fell on the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nanako has the worst luck of any NPC I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love Nanako. It is being Nanako is pain. <laughs> Nanako fainting over Linny, and Linny's like, "No, I can totally pick you up. No, it's fine. Like, <laughs> let me prove it, please." Are Just, we, we we talking like a bench press, or it's like you know, uh, like like you know, the, the the dancer lift, or like what are we talking? Oh, can we do the footloose lift? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, you I'll get the ready. Dancing ready lift? dancing lift. I mean, sorry. Dirty Thank dancing. you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just like be here on every show? I feel like I need another gay guy around here sometimes. We'll talk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lennox, give me a strength roll to dirty dancing lift Dahlia. Okay. Uh four. Um I'm going to say actually, you know what? Dahlia, go ahead and give me a dexterity roll. Okay, cool. Because I'm definitely running towards. I got an eight. Oh my god. Um, all right. Dahlia, you're doing way more work, and especially your core muscles are doing way more work than you feel like you should because Patrick Swayze definitely was doing his part. I'm not but, a, uh, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a dancer. I don't like Lenny doesn't know <laughs> like fully how he does, he just knows grab and pull up. <laughs> yes, uh you are doing the arms out, your flying thing, it's uh, it's working, and Nanako wakes up, sees that, and despair faints. <laughs> oh, jeez oh, Louise, guys, have some Papers tact. are flying all over again. <laughs> oh, God, we just collected all of these. Can you please give her a break? We were just, I, Lenny has proven how strong he is, that's all. But was now the time for that? I guess not. Lennox, can you please wake her up? Uh, oh, wake up Nanako? Yes. <laughs> Manny, you're a monster. Uh, I'm an enabler. Yeah. Shamelessly so. <laughs> okay. And then he, it says it on my. It says it on my. It's my your vice. It's your it vice. It's my vice. I am a shameless enabler. Yep. Lenny is gonna gonna like kneel down next to Nanako and then like very close and then grab her by the shoulders and just shake her. <laughs> <laughs> you pull a Shrek. Yeah. Hey. She wakes up and realizes how close her face is to yours, Lennox. Hi. Oh. Hey. Yeah, you you passed out for some reason. Hi. Yeah, you said that part. <laughs> Sha-la-la-la-la-la. Iris, you recognize, you recognize this. This is utter panic. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, 
oh, 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 no, I fell. And then Iris is just going to fall over and, and, and hope that, like, people look in her direction so that Nanako can have a little bit of break from the, the intensity of Lennox's gaze. Yeah. Um, real quick, Iris, can I get a charisma roll from you? Mm, Actually, two charisma rolls. Weakest stat. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, six on a D6, baby. Hey. Okay. You have gotten everyone's attention. Uh, everyone's looking at you. Everyone's wondering, why is everyone fainting? <laughs> Okay, why all the faint thing? Where did all the blood come from? Is why Iris is actually falling, or is she saying she's falling, but she's not? Uh, she's she's like like slowly going into a crouch, and <laughs> and then just being like, ah. You're doing a really bad stage fall. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because well, she she doesn't want to fall unsafely. <laughs> okay. And one more charisma roll, please. Uh, one. Okay. Um, Lennox, the gods you give it head. the gods take yeah. it away. Uh, I, I flew too high. I flew too yeah. close to the sun. Lennox, you turn your head for about two seconds, maybe maybe two seconds, and when you turn back, there is a blinking void where Nanako was. Boop 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 boop. Ah, I guess she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What just Quick. happened? What? Yeah. What? Uh, sorry. Uh, just letting you know that um, another tarot pole has been unlocked. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Did Nanako just get wiped? <laughs> no, Monica. Nanako just booked it. Okay. No. Oh, I, I thought you were saying a thought... void like you said void yes. like. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I meant the an I was talking the anime blinky void of a character should be here and they're not now. Okay, oh, I got okay. very She's fine. She just booked it. Nah. I was we, like, Kali has to be rogue. Kali yeah. was like, I'm done. You have to be very careful with that that word void. We will misinterpret oh. it. Yeah, last okay. episode I looked into a void and saw all my possible futures and went a little nuts. <laughs> yeah, no, you looked at the time knife. You shouldn't do that. Uh, Kelly, one to three. Mm -mm. Three. Go on. You've drawn the Wheel of Fortune upright. Wow. Pop Barker. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> so the Wheel of Fortune upright. I'm going to go ahead and say this will have a mechanical benefit as opposed to a narrative benefit. Ooh. I am going to say uh, your top dice, uh, for all of you on your next, the next time you get top die, the die explodes. What does that mean? What do you mean by top that die? Uh, that means if you roll a d6 and you get a six, the d6 explodes. Oh. What does exploding mean? You get to re-roll it, get to re -roll it and add the number. Oh. Very good. And this is just the next time that happens? Yes. Okay. For all of you. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Each of you gets one. Well, uh, now that that's all taken care of, can we stop with the charade and actually go and confront the kid who's responsible for all of this now? Well, that is what I was actually going to say. And either you, Manny, or you, Linny, would be very useful in this case. Not saying that the others would not be, but specifically what I had in mind. Oh. Well, they say beer and alcohol um, is good for inebriation. Yes. And revealing the truth is as simple as it can be. I found the one who did it. The question is, how do we confront them without them I mean, running away, getting scared? Um, maybe, maybe it's just like my hearing is not what it like, you know, like it's crowded. and I didn't hear because it. it sounded like you were asking me to, to, to give alcohol to a minor, which as an RA, I can't like in good conscience do that. Uh, and And if I were to know about that stuff, I would have to like report it. So I'm pretty sure you didn't tell me to do that. Quite literally, I did not tell you to do that. But if that's what you heard, I was saying, if you could use the inebriating effects from your divinity to calm them down, oh. to lull them, or Dang. Manny could potentially reveal the truth and 
hopefully reveal their plans in some way, shape, or form? Well, I feel like there is something that could be potentially very helpful in this case. We have two very, very um, uh, charismatic and lovely uh, people here with the ability to both deflect and distract in Iris and Dahlia. Um, and I think the, the, the power duo that they create uh, could at least draw this person out of a public area so that we can do this privately. So like good cop, bad cop, but for charisma? I mean... I think that kind of is like not exactly an inaccurate way to put that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, sure. Besides, you can always show him the time knife if he gets really uppity. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so, okay. How do we take these plans and merge them into one? Hmm. Well, first we have to get him out of here. We don't want to confront him in here in front of everybody. I think that would just make him uncomfortable. I can get him and us out. The question is, where do you want to go? What is the most private place we can make this happen? We can the do it in the old club room. Oh, man. Is it because nobody goes in there? <laughs> yeah, people avoid it. Okay. Is it the safety club room? It's the safety club room. Okay. Sure, we'll use my club room. <laughs> if you are ready, um, I'll look over at the 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 boy, um, and I'll say, "You all might want to hold on. This web might be a little sticky. Let me spin you a story in which we were not here, but in the safety club room, and I'm trying oh. to get." The five of us, six of us, including Spiro, maybe if he's around. Uh, uh, Spiro said bye. <laughs> Spiro had his little nerd fit. Uh, okay, I just rolled his charisma. Spiro uh, has returned and he's brought back uh, uh, those little squid balls. You can sometimes get a little toothpicks. Oh, I will. I will take. One I need for- a, Yeah, food. Food comes everything. Including the rage of people who don't appreciate art. Stab. Oop. Uh, but yeah, I will. I will attempt to um, allow the the web of Anansi to 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 take us to the safety club room. All right. Uh, so spend the AP. This will be one. <laughs> and we will make this intelligence and range because you're trying to move from one point to another. That makes sense. I do understand. Uh, that is 19. 19? Yes, Absolutely. 19. Yeah. Absolutely. It works glowingly. Um, the world around all six of you glows for a moment, and then when it dims, you are standing in the school safety squad club room. With Manny the boy. <laughs> and I would say for a second, you feel like you can't move from your spot because you're quite literally stuck to a web. Just for a second, and then that feeling goes away. He's gotten used to it by now. Uh, after Manny throws up, Iris pushes everyone back and is like, Biohazard! <laughs> Do you have that stuff in the club room that they throw on? Oh, there's stuff the that yeah, 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 the, the powder, here. yeah. <laughs> there's no way we don't have our own stash of sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, the, you have the sawdust, and you got the little, uh, you know... Slippery signs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I get, really, I get really bad motion sickness, and that screwed me up pretty bad. But it was very cool. My apologies. I. It was hard for me at first as well. Um, stable yourself. Will you will 100% fall over if you move now. I will definitely never get used to that. Did Kwame bring the... Angry illustrating boy with that was my yes. I looked at him and held you okay, on. My cool. plan was all the, the those of us affected. Okay, cool. To bring um, you look around the small club room. It is uh it's big enough for the five of you, maybe two more. Uh there's the whiteboard, there's the window overlooking the bike path, but you do not see the angry illustrator. 
Um, but outside in the hallway, you hear someone going, where the hell am I? The thread might have been a little thin for him. Oops. I tried. What do you want? It's fine. It's fine. Lenny's gonna uh he's gonna open the door and and look for him. Yeah. Uh go ahead and give me an intelligence or charisma roll to see if you know this kid. Uh we're gonna go with intelligence. Uh uh seven. Okay. Um I will go ahead and say that will work. Uh, you know this is uh, Nick McDonald. His older brother is the Anime Club president. He is uh, part of the Manga Appreciation Society at your school. Uh, he's actually secretary of that club, and he's about two years younger than you. Yes, yeah, so Lenny's going to go, Oh, Nick, there you are. Hey, why don't you come join us for a minute? Who are you? Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I know you, and I just... It's weird. Sorry. Uh, I'm Lennox Thatcher. Yeah, hi. I'm... Wait. Did you teleport me? What? No. But... It, you mind joining us for a minute? Yeah. I kind of do. Okay. I don't want to be, like, that guy. But, like, I'm gonna have to kind of insist... And Manny, I need every yeah, hmm? Manny kind of pokes their head up from behind Lenny's go, it's fine, we're not going to hurt you or anything, we just have some questions. Above him appears a television set. Uh, it has long mechanical arms it stands on, kind of like a bird. I'm not going anywhere. The TV lowers onto his head. Um... You see a bunch of images cycle, and I need everyone to roll initiative as we enter combat. A big one. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. This is fine. Why do you have to say a big one? And I'm sorry, that is uh, dex and speed? Dex and speed. It does not cost an AP point, though. Uh, I got two not ones. Oh, no. I got you cannot, exactly you can't crit fail initiative, thankfully. I got In the exact heart. of that. I crit, I crit uh, rolled on both of my die, including my d6, which means I get to roll it again. Aki, stop stealing the good juju. Uh, you said if you get a, a match number on one of the dies, you can re you can take it and add a number to it. Yeah, I got a I got a six on my six. Damn. So let's see. Uh, that and that's another six. Okay. Sixteen plus four. I have a twenty initiative. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, I don't know if he's going to be able to hit you. Uh, Lennox? I got an 8. Okay. Uh, what did Iris get? 11. Alright. Damn. And what did you get, Kwame? 17. Good lord. Our storyteller is in uh, the the African nation is repping here real hard. We on said during Black History Month, you're not hitting me. Not today. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Manny. Um, you don't know what he's going to do, but he has a bad attitude and he keeps summoning things that destroy school property. So. Uh, so first thing that happens is uh, is the shield of truth uh, around the party. Um, okay. Since we've been attacked by manifestations of his imagination, uh, I feel like I should put up a barrier that uh, makes it more difficult for those manifestations to push through. Awesome. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so spend the AP point, and this is going to be uh, strength and uh, power. Cool. All right. That's uh, not great. It's only a four. Okay. So everyone receives a barrier two. Effectively, he has to get a two or better in order for it to work. For it to hit you, I mean. Yeah. Not my best work, but you know. You kind of blew it on the fact that he can't touch you. 
All right, Kwame. Um, Kwame peeks out and realizes what the hell happened. What the shit is this? Um, no. Um, he'll look at Iris and say, "I, you might be useful in another way. Let me take care of the concealment. Um, and I'll stand outside and I'll splay my hands out and I'll act like Anansi, follow. Um, uh, let me spin you a story in which the world appealed differently. Um, and I'm trying to um, conceal this hallway. Um, and how I see it kind of manifesting is he, these spider, um, almost like web sling, uh, uh, these spider uh, webs uh, go to like each of the corners of the hallway. And there's almost like a film that surrounds the area from those connecting. Anything in this area just looks like a normal hallway. That's what I'm trying to get to make sure we're fighting a thing and no one else can see us fighting this thing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, um, that is going to be intelligent and range. Okay, look, <laughs> I can do that. Um, what are you? What are you? Okay. What did I say? Then crit fail. Uh, math. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, we are going to say, okay, so. Suddenly, a beautiful spider silk uh, web surrounds the hallway, uh, covering the windows and all the doors except the one to the school safety squad room. Um, it you now have barrier six, so unless he he's going to have to roll pretty well in order for it to be seen. Cool. Um, yeah, that, that 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 that's me. I just kind of get that done, and I say. Okay, I, I think I think that works. Mm. Iris, you're up next. Okay. Um, Iris is going to have Kali. Uh, okay, this is going to be weird. Uh, From you? No. <laughs> uh, like pierce the veil of the universe around the 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 tv head um and then accelerate time forward just in that around its head to um pass the singularity and then pass like great wo robot wars to where um there would be like um um basically in the great in my mind <laughs> in this universe, in the Great Robot Wars, mm -hmm. uh, the there's like a chemical warfare attack from one group of robots to another, and so that would like affect the like TV head because it's like robotic. Okay, is that possible? Can I do that? I mean, let's let the dice decide. Uh, okay, this is going to be intelligence and power. Okay, and make sure you spend the AP. Okay. Intelligence and power. Ten. All right, I'm going to roll for him as. Yeah, he. Uh... So what happens is Kali creates her void around the television head and it kind of warps for a moment. It looks more like an LCD screen. It looks like, uh, you know, an old tube television. And then a stream of ink comes pouring out of the screen and rips the bubble asunder. Oof. Ooh, scary. Kali from over your shoulder goes, I'm taking that personally. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next up is his turn. Um, he is going to, uh, let's see. Lennox, you were the one who started talking to him, so this is going to be at you. He's going to roll the hit. Uh, he has a 14. You have an initiative of eight, eight, so it is going to hit. Go ahead and roll me your defense. Okay. I got a six on a six, so it explodes for the one time, so it's a nine. Nine. Ah, oh, that is good, because I got a 12. So suddenly, uh, from this sea of ink pouring out of the television set, a not Superman, 
basically like a very generic looking superhero figure, comes out and decks you in the face for, uh, let's see, nine minutes, for three damage. It lets out a hearty ha-ha! I am a creation of Gembu, and, uh, not Gembu, I am an invention of Pangu, and you have nothing that can defeat me. Ha, ha, ha. And then it strikes a pose. And even though there's no flag, you can, like, see a flag behind him. Why is that there? Don't worry about it. Uh, all right. Next up is Lennox. I'm going to just fucking headbutt this knockoff Superman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roll the hit. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, that is an eight. An eight to hit. That will hit. Okay. Do, do, do. That is, uh, that is eight damage. Okay. Uh, you punch it. It immediately just. Not punch. <laughs> like it punched me. And then I literally grabbed it and just wham, like headbutt it. You headbutt it, and you are left with a large uh, swath of ink on your forehead, and it is just a puddle. Now, I'm not one who's prone to violence or anything, but like, um, I would I would ask you kindly to 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 knock it off, dude, before like uh, you make me mad. Uh, and that leads us to Dahlia. Uh, how close is everyone to the? Ink man. Uh, Lennox is the closest one to uh, the robot spewing the ink. Kwame and Iris are still kind of in the uh, club room. And Manny... Uh, what did Manny do last turn? Oh, you made your shield. Yeah, so you're still yes, in the club I room. Yes, I made as well. the wall of defense. Yes, you uh, did the guardian thing. So Lennox is the closest one. Okay. Um, I'd like to just do a basic vine attack to try to keep the robot from moving at all. Give Linux all another right. shot at a headbutt. Okay. Are you doing an attack or are you trying to give it a condition? Uh, I'll do a condition to, okay. to immobilize it, basically. Awesome. Go ahead and give me strength and power. Low dice. Uh, I actually got a nine on that. Oh, very good. Okay, so we are going to say it is uh, Vined five. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll round up. Why not? Cool. Okay. So that brings us back to the top of the order. Manny. All right. Uh, Manny is, uh, when they hear Lennox, um, kind of, again, sort of, in, like, poke around their head from behind Lennox at this at this kid and go, really, we're not interested in hurting you. We just want to ask you some questions. If you haven't noticed, we're like you. And uh, like, I, I, I feel like in that moment, like Ma'at's wings sort of manifest behind uh, Manny to kind of emphasize their point. And then the wings sort of swoop forward uh, in order to sort of envelop uh, the TV head and kind of blot it out, like kind of trying to sort of muffle it um, <laughs> to keep it from being able to like project anything. All right. Um, now you are summoning Ma'at, so I do feel like this will be a charisma and uh, you're kind of trying to block it. So we'll make it defense. Charisma and defense? Yeah. Coolio. Not a bad roll for you. It's pretty decent. Uh, it's only a seven, though. Okay, on a seven. Um, and I think, I, I'm guessing I have to spend the AP? You do have to spend the AP, yes. Uh, the, you can't see Nick's face anymore. It's just a TV set with legs sticking out of the sides, kind of holding him up. Um, it almost looks like his body's limp inside it. Uh, and there's a brief moment where the screen flashes, uh, his face and it almost looks like you get to him, but 
just not really enough. Uh, we go to Kwame. Um, yeah, Kwame comes out because he did kind of step in for a second, but he does step fully out, um, kind of behind um, the area just so um, um, he's not super, super close. Um, and he says, they are not wrong. We are we are trying to help, but you are not making it easy for us. Please listen. Um, and as he says that, you see him. Um, 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 you you see Anansi kind of uh, like perk up because um, that's something that Kwame's planning, and I think Anansi's like um, keying into that. And he says, "Let me spin you a story in which a guardian appeared behind you." And there's going to be right behind, well, hopefully behind um, um, the the TV thing. I'm sorry, Aki. Um, a giant jumping spider appears um, out of a encased cocoon. Like the the, the webs kind of come together and kind of coalesce, and then out comes this giant jumping spider, ready to pounce and attack this um, this uh, TV if necessary. And this okay. is where Manny starts to hit whistle notes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even tried for that, but they manage. They're really killing it. Uh, all right. Uh, go ahead. This will cost an AP point. Give mm. me a... Uh, I think power and charisma is a good one for this one. Look, you you you're giving me my best stats right now, so I'm not mad. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, that is uh, twenty eight and math fifteen. Okay. Uh, there is now a manny sized uh, spider behind uh, this kid and his divinity, Manny. Oh God! I really need you to roll me charisma right now. <laughs> eh? The three. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was hoping for at least a four because, uh, Manny. You got no poker face on a good day. You definitely don't have a poker face when there's a manny sized manny eating spider behind you. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun replacing the word man eating with manny, I will say. Um, so. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I don't know if you're screaming or not. That is a you decision. I think uh, that they go beyond screaming to just like petrified, like stock still with their sword in their hand, just like just silently. <gasps> yeah, yeah. You turn it's... into Tina from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> your guys' Iris, phone, your guys' uh, phones buzz, and there's like another text to the group thread <laughs> with a bunch of spider emojis. <laughs> Texting uh, is a free action. Quick, quick question, um, though, uh, just kind of, to kind of end the turn. Um, Kwame, again, uh, we talked about that he loves to go in the library. He loves to read. He loves mythology. He's always okay. loved the mythology. He heard Pongu. Is that something yes. that, that clicked with him? He said, I you am the creation what? of Pongu. It's was like, what? I will give you, I will let everyone take a free intelligence roll right now. Three. Five. That's wrong, wrong one. Nine. Nine. Oh. Three. Okay. Um, the normal squad, Lennox, you were actually the closest, so I just need a six. Uh, the normal squad, nope. Kwame, uh, you know that Pongu is a primordial creation figure in Chinese mythology. He uh, was he separated heaven and earth and is the mountains and rivers. Uh, he is effectively a creation god. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will give you that one for free. Oh. Yeah, Ku and Kuwame says Anansi might be able to create 
the stories and own the stories, but Pangu is creation itself in some cultures. Yep. So, Iris, you have a very mad Kali. Okay. Uh, so, Iris is going to be, be like, okay, Kali, dealer's choice, and just let Kali decide what she wants to do. <laughs> um, and just hand the reins over to Kali. You mean Stephen? Well, it could be. Yeah. I mean, you could make me do it or you can do it. I I, I, I do fear, yes, that I have handed the reins over to Stephen. All right. Uh, she is very angry. I'm going to say Kali would choose to do a very normal attack, mm -hmm. but it's going to be directed at the head. Mm -hmm. They're going for a headshot here. So this will be an, I believe for magicians, it's intelligence and range plus uh, minus two to hit. Yes. Uh, so 14 minus two, 11. Oh, wait. No, minus two. 12. 12 will hit. He is on 11. So okay. uh, go ahead and roll that damage. It's the same roll plus two. And don't forget okay. to spend the AP point. Um, wait, so, okay, hold on. If I roll the same on, oh, wait, that's only if it's both sixes, right? Mm-hmm. Never mind. Uh, six total. All right, let me roll his defense. Oh, lucky you. Uh, he rolled a one. Oh, so, uh, thank goodness. You hit him directly at the TV screen. Uh, and you realize the body is completely limp. It is just kind of like powering this screen right now. Um, it You crack it. Is and, anything coming out of it? Out of the crack? Uh, actually, the, the ink has stopped, but you do see Nick's face on the TV screen. And in a voice that doesn't sound like the kind of nasally voice he had earlier, you hear it go, now I'm pissed. And it's his turn. Like a spider, it begins to crawl away. And uh, so, let's see. Kwame, yeah. I'm going to give you a free attack. As uh, you set up that spider, mm -hmm. and Manny managed to keep it together enough for him not to notice. Okay. So, what what, what do I do? So, um, <laughs> this is intelligence and Intelligence and range, minus two. Minus two. Wrong die. Intelligence and range. Oh, by the way, two. what 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 type is uh is Kwame? Because we have guardians and magicians. You what get a guess. Kwame? Magician? Are you a magician too? Oh my god, am I just You're the only one? I I, I literally I was looking at everything, I was like, it's a Nazi, it's stories he's creating, he's a magician. <laughs> I can't make anything else make sense. Oh, no, no. I'm not mad at you. No, it's fantastic. Like, it's just the, it, hilarious. None of us talked about what class we were playing, and three of we us talked about the gods magician. and characters, just not the class. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if it, it doesn't matter if you crit on, if you if you do max on one, correct? It doesn't matter if you do max or both. Uh, for it to be a crit, they have to both be max, or they have to both be six. The, uh, um. Well, with my intelligence and 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 um, range minus two, that's eighteen. That is definitely going to hit. Uh, yeah. So roll it again, and you're going to add two. Roll these again, add two. Oh Jesus, hell! Okay. Um, wait. I believe those are opposites, but I'm Jewish, so I don't know. Fifty. Seventeen. Seventeen. Good gravy. And, I, and again, I'm just I'm rolling the die that the D is that the uh, those stats are assigned to, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Like you said, six is like you're doing great. Okay, great. Yeah. So seventeen. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, he is not looking great now. Uh, as the television set begins to move, it moves upwards. The body continues to dangle. Iris, you can tell it's coming towards you, and then out of nowhere, spider bite! Uh, 
Uh, and like the opening shot of Twin Peaks Firewalk with me, it is smoking and the face, the screen on the TV is cracked and you see all these different faces and all these anime characters and all these doodles. Like they're incomplete. He's still standing, but he ain't happy. But he still gets his action. So he's going to try to attack Iris. How dare. Rude. He got a 15 and this going to hit. Iris, go ahead and roll your defense. Oh, my butt. <laughs> Not your butt. Two. Okay. We're taking good. 10. Exquain? He rolled 12. <laughs> Exquain. Okay. Um, I'm down to six HP. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Iris is not doing well. Great. No, um, a cartoon mallet comes out of the TV and it just boom hits Iris right into the sack of uh Ooh. sawdust. Ew, the barf sawdust. Well, not the. I assume you don't barf in the bag of sawdust. But yes, the <laughs> no. barf sawdust. But I don't like the connotation. Okay, no, darn. It's gross. So okay, owie. All right, uh, Lennox is up. You know what happens with a TV when you pour beer on it? Let's find out. And I'm just gonna like just uh, jets uh, of liquid fire from my hands at the at this large screen. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, uh, that's thirteen to hit. That will hit. Also, there's a kitty on screen, so I, I am completely distracted. Hello. Hello, kitty. I love you. Hello. I love you. Aww. I would take a bullet for you. I would die for you. You are precious and wonderful. Kitty. All right. Damage is uh, 15, 16, 16. 16 minus 6. I was uh, almost, I got, I got two sevens. I was like, oh, that could have been two. It he has one hit point left. Ooh. Dahlia. Okay, then I hit it for 16. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Uh. No. No. That's cheating. I will not have that at my table. Except when it's narratively interesting. Uh, okay, Dahlia. You're up. We're at the bottom of initiative. Great. I'm going to take a page out of Lenny's book and try to hit this thing with a bunch of wet fruit and plant material. Uh, you're literally throwing, you're throwing tomatoes at something you don't like. This tomatoes, is watermelon. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Boo, tomato. And I'm just getting Persephone to make like the biggest versions of these fruit possible and checking you are them. Absolutely, you would absolutely win Blue Ribbon. Wow. It's like an iridium fruit in Stardew Valley. Yeah, seriously. God, I missed that game. Okay, roll the hit. Uh, as you are a magician, it's the same role as everyone else. Intelligence and range. Perfect. Except for me, because I am unique. You're special. <laughs> uh, I got a 12. That will hit. And then I will get a... 16 damage. Okay. Um, with the damn fruit. The body, body just falls out of the TV. And the TV is going to uh, try to scurry away as fast as you can. As fast as it can. Um, it kind of resembles a chicken almost as it runs away. But Nick is out cold uh, in the club room. Ma, I, I don't suppose you could tell me exactly who that deity was. Uh, go ahead and spend the AP. I'm not going to make you roll. Just I feel like, you know, mm -hmm. I will be fair. And and the, the you you saying it's running away from us or like yes. That cool. I don't think Manny's going to let that happen. So like, they're probably going to try and pursue it. Um, okay. Um, we are out of combat, so don't worry about, you know, turns for it running away. Uh, 
Ma'at takes form and explains that was supposed to be Pangu, creation god of Chinese mythology. Uh, it's an interesting that, way to manifest. Very. And Pangu was not malevolent. Yeah, I think man is going to try and, and, and pursue it in order to like at least capture it or get it get it under control and i i think they just call out over their shoulder we can't let it get away kwame will follow and say um stand out of the way or you might get hit let me spin you a story in which you were in, encased in web he's trying to literally entangle them and stop them whatever it is all right um, uh, give me power charisma okay my ap Power charisma. I always look at this as if it's not the same two things I'm doing. Oh my god! That's a 12 on the D12 and a 10 on the D10. Oh damn! So how you're going to capture this thing and what else happens? So um the web that was holding the the illusion that was created up um all come down and swarm around um, this thing that is running around. It's almost as if, if you've ever played Mortal Kombat, whenever like Cabal or Sindel like spin somebody around, you start to see that just kind of en en encapsulate um, mm -hmm. and definitely like holds them down, whatever this th they are, and sticks them to the ground. They're not moving unless they can bust out of some strong web. They're like they're like an ant on a Black Widow's web. Just the fact you brought up Sindel makes me so goddamn happy. Mortal Kombat is one of my all-time favorite uh, uh, games. I'm so series. bad at it, and I love it so much. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. Um, and just for good measure, your new spider buddy just kind of toddles over and plop. Sounds good and to it me. Tries to give you like a thumbs up, but it doesn't have thumbs. <laughs> it's one of those, you know, like the, the, the they like wave their hand, the, the, their wave their <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just waves. Um, Aki's not joining in on this one. <laughs> Good job. Oh no. <laughs> not not keen on spider humor, Aki. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no scooters, okay? They have too I am many sorry. legs, too many eyes. I understand and recognize their importance to the uh to the to the uh, the ecological uh foundation of our planet and and what they contribute. Uh I have no problem with them as long as they're not in my house or on me. And both have happened, so no thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I know. It's a serious thing. It's just one of those things like, where I, I'm i the same way about bugs in general. Like, spiders I don't like, but bugs I hate. And guess whose very first stream was Dark Sun? You know, where they do nothing but eat bugs and ride bugs and play with bugs. Ugh. I like all bugs except for cockroaches. No thank Carucha, you. A cockroach. Mm. I know that's wrong. Yeah, but yes. Anyways, I would I, have picked a Nancy if I knew you didn't like spiders. Oh, see, no, this is the thing. It's perfect that you did one because a Nancy is like an acceptable spider for the most part. Uh, for the and, most part, uh, yeah, and 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 it's ironic because Spider Man is my favorite superhero. Oh, Jesus. get out of town, really. Yeah. <laughs> but what huh. about man spider? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tomato. Or spider pig. <laughs> Listen, I just, like I said, I, spooters, we call them spooters. Spooters are, are great. Spooters are, 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 are necessary uh, and generally harmless for the most part. I just, I, they just have so many legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just so don't, many. you just don't need to be around them. And they move really fast for how small they are. They move so fast. fast. I don't nope. trust them. And they it. can nope. jump. And the way Next. they float on the air via electric We're current. Done. Yeah. We're done. Next card. Yeah, the fact <laughs> that they can just levitate by We're using done. electricity of the earth. Like, yeah, that's no bananas. Well, like, um, no, this is the thing. They're, I wish I could do They're that. legitimately very cool. I just, yeah. yeah. But no. I but no, the fact that you're a Nancy, I'm here for it. I was so excited when I found out that that's what you were playing because I was like, of course, yeah, that's, yeah. I was going to do a Black God period. Um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, anywho, yeah. So Thing is uh, 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 stuck in some web right now. 
Oh, yes. Okay. This divinity is trapped. Um, I would what like... What's up with you? Hmm? Uh, Manny, as they kind of... They, they, they kind of get out of the way of the web thing. And then as soon as that's sort of settled, they sort of peer at, at this, this chicken television and just go, Pongu, what's up with you? Uh, when you ask it a question, it the static on the screen quickly turns to an image of the doors to oblivion. Um, now you were, four of you were there when the door was opened. Now, Dahlia and Manny, you were both told by Loki it had to be opened because otherwise, basically something bad had to happen in order for the best thing to happen. Yeah. He promised you that. But you see the door open and you see those eyes again. They're stark white. Um, not like the Phantom Queens. They are devoid of hate because hate means caring hate means an emotional investment this thing is incapable of that um it shows you that and it begins to tremble and the image shakes um and then you see pongu's key falling out of the destroyed door uh door room you had the key room that was destroyed when you uh, beat the Phantom Queen, and you see his key uh, go flying and land in front of a very angry young man, and you are able to put... I'm going to say Manny is able to put together what happened. Aww. A lot of fear and a lot of anger led to someone lashing out. It's okay, Pongu. Everything's okay now. You don't have to be scared. Uh, Ponku turn, uh, the screen turns to a, uh, game show where a giant red X appears in front of someone and you hear the crowd go, oh, that's wrong, the announcer says. You're not scared? Uh, it replays the same clip. <laughs> get it uh it flicks again this time to a soap opera uh it's an it's a uh, generically handsome man talking to a generically handsome woman baby everything's gonna be okay Dahlia's you don't know words. that chad Dahlia's is like mouthing these words she's seen that soap opera hundreds of times <laughs> a time for love Kwame <laughs> steps forward um Tells the, the big spider to move. <laughs> go, buddy, go away for a second. Scurry, 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 scurry. Thank you. <sighs> we do not know what is to happen next. None of us do. And I believe that is what we are potentially charged in finding out. How do we go on with the knowledge that we have now? What is our purpose? Why do we have this power and why is it so strong? Why, it, why is it? But you don't have to fear. You don't have to worry. You just have to be. I know you hide behind your art, your, your picture. But there are others like you who are struggling too. There is no reason to do this alone. I, I think that that Pongu is. I don't know that Pongu is completely in control, because Nick isn't in control. Is Nick like still laying on the ground? Yeah, um, they're completely they're unconscious. It. Reminds you of when you got when one of you uses your divinity too much. That sort of drained, empty feeling you get. Uh, apparently, this is what happens when you keep going. Overcharge. Overcharge. I. I think that. 
that Pongu, what Mott told me is that Pongu is not usually malevolent. I think that Pongu responded the way that he did because the person who wields his power is angry and frightened and upset. This isn't a Pongu problem. It's a Nick problem. Well, okay, what if we, so when I, I get um, angry and upset when I'm uncomfortable or, or scared. Um, so what if um, we like put a bunch of blankets around Nick and then um, uh, slowly wake Nick up with like gentle music and then um, like pretty swaying sheets and stuff. And, and then maybe Nick won't be so angry anymore. Do any of us really know Nick very well? Mm, I don't know. Do we? <laughs> I mean, do I we? do not. He yeah, doesn't I... really run in any of your circles. And he's also, um, you're all about 16, 17, correct? 17. Yeah. Yeah, he's younger than all of you. Ew, gross freshman. <laughs> Frosty. That's probably exactly why he lashed out like he did. He's lonely. Yeah. Well, I would not want to overstimulate him either. I think the idea of making him comfortable is a good one, Iris. I agreed. I also think that we should be prepared for him to continue to be hostile towards us because, honestly, none of us know him, um, really know how to talk to him. We should see if we can find somebody who might know him a little bit better. Maybe somebody else from, what about Nanaka? She's an artist. Maybe she can relate to him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, How do we um, explain just what is happening here? I, I believe we should not involve anyone who does not have have access to. Not yet, at least. Fair enough. I don't want to be like that person, but... You say that a lot. Do you, I am learning this. Yeah, yeah, you never want to be that guy, but yeah, uh, it's almost a catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, it's, deep down, I don't want to be the person I am. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> like, should we maybe involve like a faculty member, maybe like you know, the dean, because he like knows about this stuff, but he's also probably dealt with, you know, teens with powers who like are a little out of control i'm gonna ask a very rhetorical question that doesn't require an answer but you are once a child yes yeah did you listen to every authority figure who came to you Absolutely. even when they were correct i'm asking the wrong person okay <laughs> <laughs> okay well what if we search his body try and find anything that would indicate his interests surround him with those things so that when he wakes up he feels calm maybe we could put on some kind of play dahlia <gasps> oh my gosh not we you i would never perform okay i've already got uh, uh, tons of costumes in my dorm room i can go grab them i've been making them all semester and i've, uh, I've got three notebooks full of like play ideas that we could try to adapt to him um I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> Please don't. You're the only person here with the capability of healing us. Oh, gosh, you're right. And I haven't been doing that. <laughs> yeah. Also, are yes. you okay, Iris? You got, like, hit pretty yeah. hard. I am extremely unwell. Therefore, my suggestion that we search his body. But I still think that there's something there at that plan. I think that figuring out ways to make him comfortable are for sure, for sure, things we should think about uh, trying to enact. Uh, Kwame, I don't suppose that you and I can put our heads together. If I can figure out what are things he's into or things that make him comfortable, perhaps you can spin those things into being? 
you can grab the information. I can make that information be so, yes. And then Dahlia can put on their great pageant. And and, and just <coughs> heal me whenever you have a chance, <coughs> Dahlia. <laughs> you just have to be on <laughs> I can also get Persephone to give me some fresh chamomile and just other really naturally calming things. Um, maybe we can find some hot chocolate because that calms me a lot. Uh, it's I'll just, point. Oh. oh, just really quickly. I'll just say to Iris, you know, venom can be very healing if used correctly. Y you know. Oh, uh, uh, um, uh. <laughs> Now, now we're fighting. Out. Iris can do whistle tone. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever She's I'm, learning. whenever I'm like really upset, I just go to the gym and work out till I literally pass out. That's like toxic masculinity, I think. Uh huh. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. What if we find? What if we like find some art supplies for him? Oh. I'm having Maybe an idea. Help him. Oh, I like ideas. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you take care of Iris. I'm going to see if I can figure out anything else about Nick. Ma'at, okay. can you help me a little bit here? I'm I'm about to do something I think may be slightly invasive. Well, it's for a good cause. Go ahead and spend an AP, and this will be charisma and power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. you're trying to be more emotional than logical with this one. Yeah. Those are both fairly decent die rolls for me. Let's see. Jeez, uh, that's a, ten, a, a nine. Nine? Okay. Yeah. Um, he has really no mental defenses right now, so you can basically get whatever you want about Nick. Um... I try he, not to get like too like it. This is very much surface sort of. What are the things that he's expressed interest in, or like the things that have like basic, like basic, like gist of of him as like what does he get involved in in school? What are the things that like kind of trouble him on like a, a surface level? Like this is definitely not a deep dive. I need to know everything about him. Like okay. Manny My goes into this color. very much <laughs> trying to not violate his space. I, I get it. Um, well, he, so he started North Point this year. He is, as you called him, a freshman. Uh, he w actually went to a public middle school and transferred here, uh, apparently to something his family does because his older brother is, uh, the club of, is the president of the anime club. Uh, he got here, uh, other side of the country. His brother does not hang out with him. He does not seem to have any friends. He is part of the school's, uh, manga club and, uh, comics club, uh, the sequential art club, they insist to be called. And he is uh, very much in need of some sort of friendship, fraternal or otherwise, and uh, just kind of a lonely kid. Does he have any, like, um, interest at the top of his head? Like, what was he drawing? Like, anything like that? I'm just trying, wondering. There's a well. lot of uh, fan art, especially of uh, gir girly shows. Uh, magical shonen. girls. Does, not a lot of shonen stuff. Mostly not shojo. Shonen, sorry, shojo, shojo stuff. Did he have anything? Uh, did he have like a booth in the artist alley? He did not. Okay. Did he want one? You can tell he kind of did. What? Okay. So I've been ruminating on this idea for a okay. little bit. What if we helped drive a lot of people? Like, get him a booth in Artist Alley, put all of his art up, and then just try to make that booth super popular so people will come by and, like, make him feel important. And, like, his talents are enough. I I definitely do like that idea. But I also think he needs friends, not just followers. Spiro clears his throat. Um Oh, I, you're here. 
Yes, I was fighting with you. I threw rocks. There's a things happen. Uh, Kira was there. I just never like to have NPCs fight because I feel like that's just a waste of round. Mm. Um, you know, he has good taste in anime. And uh, he's a younger brother, right? Yes. Hmm. He has an older brother, but that brother doesn't really spend any time with him. Uh, Spiro looks to Lennox and Kwame. You want to adopt a nerd with me? That was kind of where I was going anyway. I like making friends. It's your bubbly personality that gives it away. <laughs> so his new friends are like the two hottest guys in school. <laughs> uh, and Lennox, so three hottest. Three hey. hot guys. <laughs> wow. he's, just got, he's just got a trove of hot big brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky. This isn't going to be bad for Dahlia at all. I'm going to, because it's a lot of talking and less action, and Kawani's definitely a, more of an action person. He walks over to Nick and kind of kneel, kneels down and, um, takes a little bit of the resi the web residue and kind of just sprinkles it over um, Nick as he says, let me spin you a story. And when you wake up from a very nice dream. Wow. So he's calm as he awakes. <laughs> nice. Uh, go ahead and make charisma and power. Oh, that's really like Kwame. Uh, that's a six or a nine, just a 15. 15, absolutely. Um, nice. even though he's out cold and um, probably won't be waking up anytime soon, it does look like a pleasant dream. That's valid, yeah. Mm. I guess if he's gonna be asleep for a while, that gives us time to set up his booth. Well, we that can use the, the school safety booth because, um. <gasps> Because I know no one's going to come to mine, so he can use mine. <laughs> so um, maybe, uh, Manny, maybe maybe you can help me. Um, we'll repurpose this one. Sounds good. I can decorate it and make it look all beautiful. Yeah. And, and Lennox can use, Lennox and Kwame can use their charming personalities to bring people to the booth. Hey, I just have, a, I have an idea. Zero. I, I'm um, here too. So you know how um, Spiro, it was very hard for me to hear what you were saying because you're so handsome. But I remembered you. No problem. I remembered you saying that he has really good taste in anime. Well, there's tons of subgenres of anime. Maybe he's having trouble meeting other people that like the same some same sub subgenres that he likes. So maybe there could be like not just an anime club, but like clubs for the types that he likes, and he can meet other people too that like that. Um, also, that is a wonderful way to create a civil war among anime fans, which I find very amusing. But uh, you might have an idea there. Well, that's a problem for later. <laughs> well, so uh, Spiro stands up. Um, he offers Dahlia uh, the last octopus ball. She's not even going to take it. She's going to eat it out of his hand. Because she thinks that's what he was trying to do. In the distance, you can see that spider webbing a heart. <laughs> Iris goes, Rated right, R! Rated right R! Rated right right R! Right on. Right on. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. He fed her. <laughs> Manny is just dot, dot, why? Why? I mean, it's just it's just takoyaki. Right. It's fine, uh, but um, be careful! It will burn your mouth. It's very hot. <laughs> no, seriously, I those really things are like what? they can I like taco for, like, on an hour. Years ago, like, <laughs> yeah, takoyaki is dangerous. You gotta you gotta poke that thing and kind of stir it around a little bit, to release some of the steam because otherwise you're burning your mouth. So bad, so bad, so good though, so good. Um, I feel like I need to have this now. Oh, it's so good. 
See, that, oh, it's I, delicious I, and I also dangerous. Because when you said octopus balls, I was remembering in Kyoto, they had like, they were literally tiny little octopuses on a stick. And I thought oh, that's what you were talking about. Hot dogs, yeah. No, it's not a hot dog. It's a literal tiny octopus. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, so takoyaki, like I said, delicious, also incredibly and dangerous. dangerous. Yes. <laughs> and a moment that will inspire fan art for generations to come. Spiro, mostly naked, is going to pick up Nick and kind of give him a piggyback. Ah, uh, so uh, I will take the boy to his room. Uh, Lennox, you will uh, help me break into his uh, dorm room. I mean, I, I don't think we have to like break in. Like, I, uh, you know. The, it, there are keys and stuff. Yes. Oh, Lennox, please go on an adventure with Spiro. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's that's fine. I guess I guess I'll hang out with Spiro. I, oh my God, why do we get to split up with Spiro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spiro looks to Kwame. Uh, you care to come, or uh, should it just be me and Lennox? I look at Linux. I am pretty perceptive in another term in another game that doesn't matter right now. Um, this Linux looks like they want to go alone with Spiro. His face is like blank, and in his head is like, "Do I want both of them with me, or do I just want?" I can't decide. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. whatever. Then I guess it's going to be a menage a trois. Before they leave, Dahlia's gonna like pull Lenny to the side and just like grab his shoulders and be like, take care of him, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, like, don't let anything bad happen to him, okay? I would never. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Manny, Iris, and Dahlia, you go to the school safety school squad club booth it is a ghost town it you it, people are literally just like whoop, walking around it nope can't see it but nanako is there and she is trying to hand out flyers okay this isn't working maybe if i cosplayed oh nanako you hi, can... hi iris hey dahlia you can desist it's oh. fine. Um, you know what? It's more about the spirit of school safety. And right now, the safest thing we can do is to help a friend. So we're just going to repurpose this thing and, and help and, and help this kid, Nick. Nick? Um, I don't know him. Well, you're gonna... Was that a threat? Some no, threat. I was trying to be like fun. <laughs> Everything you say is vaguely threatening and it's kind of cool, Iris. Thanks. It is kind of why I wanted to be friends with you. Well, one of the reasons. Thanks. But yeah, there's a freshman here who needs a little bit of a TLC. So we're going to help him out if that's okay with you. Well, I'm not going to be the odd man out. Or woman out. Or non-binary person out. So person. Yeah. The word you're looking for is person. Thank you. Person. English is my second language. I'm trying. I apologize. No, it's fine. You don't have to say you're sorry. We're all learning together. Hmm. Uh, you three are kind of my favorite people at this school. Besides Lenny, you mean? She blushes as she begins to take the uh, flyers and put them back in the Kinko's box they came in. I'm not answering that. We cut to uh, Nick's dorm room. Uh, it was left unlocked. It is a very nondescript teenage boy's room. Uh, there are some posters up. It is a mess. He has yet to master the art of the clothes go in the hamper and then you do go to the laundry room. While they're putting um, Nick down, I will start just cleaning up his room a little bit for him. Doesn't bother yeah. me. Yeah. 
Uh, I have you. Little, I have little brothers. <laughs> you find a lot of uh, like half completed doodles, and they're pretty good. Just look over at the Nazi. Look at that. We might really do have a, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? I must say accomplice. No talent. I, well, yes, he does have talent, but this might be easier than we thought. Yeah. Not to mention, you could definitely bully him into jo- joining the poetry club. I'm not going to bully him into doing anything. Oh, come on. Oh, the the word in my head that I just d- totally did not see on the screen, apprentice. <laughs> apprentice, perfect. I love that word. Oh, that it's, means like, it's like a little imp out. just climbed in your head and said it. Right? Just a little bit. Apprentice. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, he just starts picking up stuff, just tidying it up. You're not going to clean it completely because you never clean up somebody's room for them. Like, like that. That's like, no. Just a little bit. Makes it a little easier to get around. Yeah. Uh, Spiro puts Nick in his bed and uh, gives you a smile, Lennox. Uh, you, uh, you have siblings? Uh, um, I mean, I had a brother. Oh. Uh, can I ask what happened? Yeah, he, uh, he died. I am sorry to hear that, Linux. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he he was my older brother, and he was he was really cool. My uh, sister, she passed a couple years ago. I know how hard it is to lose someone like that. Even I will admit. I will admit, I was not expecting this to become such a heavy moment. But I can at least say the stories you tell will keep their memory alive. So, ah, uh, Kwame, of course it got heavy. We're high schoolers, we do everything in extremes. <laughs> that is true. Yes. Uh, well, when he awakes, he will have a beautiful booth where he can sell his. Uh, he picks up a drawing and kind of looks at it. Pretty, uh, pretty good work. Pretty good. Little derivative, but you know, young. He says it's like he's not just two years older than him. <laughs> I he remember to... when I was that age. <laughs> nope. Also, he motions to the Moko Chu uh, plushie on the bed. He has good taste. It is nice, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is not a Pikachu that gives a little glare at Lenny. Listen, I don't, I don't know which Pikachu it is. If it's, if it's the 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 turtle Pikachu or the the whatever. Okay, I do not even right. understand the the manga, anime, TV show, whatever. I don't watch it, but I at least know what that Squirtle is. Yeah, Squirtle. He's one of the Pikachus. Not no. Mm. Do are you are all Pokemon Pikachus to you? Which which ones? Which ones? Which? Oh bother! Ah, oh, Zootalors. Okay, well, we shall let the boy sleep. Wake him up maybe in uh, about an hour. No. He can sleep as long as he needs. I'm sure he will wake up when his body is ready. If he overcharged himself, he needs time. Yes. Um, oh. Uh, Spiro notices something around his neck, and he pulls up a key. It's been on a chain around his neck, and he kind of... Didn't you... You had to unlock yours, Correct. I mean, yeah, we had to like accept the 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 gift. Mm. Although I will say, it didn't seem like that was that was more. I've never seen a divinity like take a person. Like like you know, sometimes we'll be like you know, I become water, but I didn't. Inkasi's not water, 
Like I, she allows me to become that, but like, I don't, she doesn't take over me. Right. Hades uh, is part of me. He is not me. We are, and we are separate. Same for you, correct, Kwame? For the most part, he sticks next to me, but no, he does not take over. Hmm. Which leads to a problem. Whatever this door was and these keys were being found, if something is corrupted, perhaps allowing more of a connection than usual. Yeah, because we, I do know, like, the Phantom Queen would take gods in their their key form and you know corrupt them into into crows. So now that using the power of the door, I guess I don't know how she did it, but like if now the door is open, maybe it's I don't know, maybe maybe this god is corrupted, or maybe it's just freaking out, or I don't know is definitely something to look into. We got back to uh, Team Booth. Uh, Nanako's been helping. Iris, Dahlia, Manny, you have done a really good job. And you are approached by a uh, young woman with stark white hair wearing a uh, new, wearing a North Point Academy uh, uniform. It's Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hey, how goes it? It's it's going okay. Have you have you talked to the dean yet? Oh, yeah. She extends a hand. Kim Winters, new transfer student. It's nice to meet you. Whoa. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Emancipation Brown. <laughs> I'm Dahlia Wingrove. Iris. I'm Iris Snow! Whoa, your last names are so similar. That Snow is true. Winter. Snow Winter. Winter Snow. Snow Winter. She's going to, like, open a notebook and start, like, writing in it. Yeah, I promise you, we're not related. Okay. Uh, Closes it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'll be joining you guys uh, when classes start up again. Wow. Cool. That is incredible. Uh, Manny heads back behind the booth where, like, the big box full of safety squad flyers are and, like, pulls out one and shoves it into Kim's hand. You should join. What do you think, Phantom Queen? The Morrigan takes form next to her. Uh, <gasps> so uh, beautiful. Sorry, sorry. It's just a... Uh, sorry. Whew. Instinct. <laughs> I apologize. God. You know I'm the one who died, right? Shouldn't I be the jumpy one? Oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't say that stuff out loud here. <laughs> anyway... I look forward to joining your club. Yay! Oh, Manny, you just gave me a great idea. We got to make flyers for this booth. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, not to be self-serving, but what if we use the other side of my flyers and then people will also get a safety club flyer? I mean, it's best way to recycle the paper. Yeah. Hopefully they don't... Turn it over and then only read the safety squad side. Not that that's a bad thing. Oh, Not that that. Yeah. No. No, I'm like 900 percent sure that's a bad thing. No, 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 no. We'll make we sure that people don't see it until later and trick them into joining the safety club. Trick them into joining. I like that. Kim pats you on the shoulder, Iris. I. Ow. I like Oh, come At on. this point, the safety squad is turning into a rather exclusive club, though. Hey, there's a whole nother semester. I'm sure you'll get more members. Uh, are you guys going to the masquerade? There's a, there's a masquerade? Yeah. 
There's a masquerade. Yes. Oh, God. I have so much work to do. Oh, by the way, Dahlia, did you change costumes again? Uh, she said you had three. That's true. Uh, yeah, yeah, I changed costume. I'm in uh, Mikasa from Attack on Titan now. <laughs> yeah, no, I have no idea what it entails. I've been uh, dead for a decade, so I'm just excited to see costumes. I'm excited to wear a mask. I don't think I'm going to go. What? Well, I mean, it's not because I, I don't enjoy parties or masquerades or anything like that, but I, I don't know, like there's something about people hiding, hiding their identities and, and, and stuff like that, that makes me slightly uncomfortable. Um, but also I'm a little bit tired. Today's been a long day. And if I could get the chance to, I'd really, really, really like to like pick Kwame's brain about like all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, and I, I, I need to find Helen and introduce Kwame to Helen because I think the two of them would get along really well too. And I don't know, I guess if I'm being honest, it's it's kind of neat to know that there are two other people at the school who have deities from you know the same continent as me and, and, and to feel that kind of solidarity with them. And, and I kind of I kind of want to indulge in that a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that makes me sound selfish, but no. Kim blows a raspberry. That does not make you selfish. All right. That is like the least selfish thing. You want to Many. embrace people who actually have something in common with you. Like me and Spiro. Hmm. As if summoned from the darkness, uh, <laughs> Kwame, Lennox, and Spiro approach. They do not have the they do not have Nick with them, but uh... like me and Spiro, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> the delusion is real, Dahlia. So good. <laughs> she just needs to get her heart it's broke, just, man. It's just too. It's too. It's too. It's too real, and I. I feel. I, 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 I came here to have a good time and I'm honestly like feeling so attached right now. Why you gotta why you gotta read my whole life like this? Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. This is just this, this is just killing me softly. We got a whole other season of this to look forward to. Uh, Man, that was funny. Holy shit. Okay. Um We put the boy to sleep. Well, he was asleep already. We put the boy to bed. He's uh I uh, got his phone number. I will uh, shoot him a text. We will talk. I'll make sure these two are with me. Uh, Spiro, Lennox, Kwame, meet Kim Winters, a new transfer student. Hello. Spiro, who has not met her before, does the bow and the hand kiss. It's all very much, and she very much is not impressed. Ew. Cool. Hi. Uh, Lenny, good to see you. And uh, Kwame, right? That is I. Lovely to meet you. Kim Winters. Kim's like us. Just heads up. You don't have to keep secrets. Yes. She snaps her fingers. Uh, the Morrigan appears behind her. My divinity used to be the bad guy. Huh. Yep. She threw me through a wall once? And don't be too hard on her. I was dead, so. Yeah, we we uh, defeated her by psychologically and emotionally hitting her hard with some memories of Kim. Like, repeatedly. It was great. <laughs> I believe we have two different versions of greatness, but if that is what spins your web, then go for it. That's fine. Oh. I like this one. Uh, by the way, we are $730 away from the watch along. Woo. Watch along. And we are going to wrap it here with uh, anime hot take 
from everyone at the table. <gasps> okay. All right. <clears throat> Death Note was better after L left. Oh. Steven. There's my hot take. Steven? I love Nier. I love Mello. I thought they were fantastic additions. Okay. Yes, Mika? No. Time, time, for, time for Mika's hot take. <laughs> yes, I can't uh, think of any hot takes other than dubs versus subs. And that's was, Eric's. Uh, yeah, I was going to comment I on don't have. I don't well. actually have an opinion on that if you want. To. You don't? No. I think that all anime needs to be watched in the way it was created. So if it was in Japanese, watch it in Japanese. Okay. No offense to the English voice actors that dub this stuff, but I don't think they get it, that get the characters correct. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to go then because I'm opposition. I like dubs. I think I they're love fun. Dubs. Here's what I'm going to tell you. And, and okay. And I don't know. I don't think this applies to Mika because Mika did not express this, but I do feel like a lot of people waste a lot of hate on dubs. Um, there's like bigger things in the world to hate. If, if you, I just so many times have had a conversation with someone and been like, you know, I like to, or they'll be like sub or dub, which one did you watch? And then I'll be like, you know, I watched the dub and then they'll, I will see the derision on their face for me as a human. And I'm like, listen, there's, there's bigger fish to fry. You, you don't have to hate. Like, I just think hate doesn't need to apply to a dub. You know what no, I'm like, saying? I, I don't hate people for watching dubs. Yeah, I didn't think that I you just, did. I feel bad that they didn't watch it subbed because I, all the ones that I like subbed are infinitely better subbed when I go try to watch the dub. Mm. But if you start out watching the dub, the sub feels weird for you. It just depends on which mm. one you watch. I and I and actually, there are some that have better dubs than subs. I'm going to be honest. And I, I actually, and I don't dislike subs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I, I like them both. So All it's, right. yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna chime in here with my hot take. Aki, please uh, do for for the dub versus sub uh, debate. And that is when it when it, when all is said and done, what it actually comes down to for both is how well it's translated. Yes. Because if a yes. sub if a sub is badly translated and the dub is not, the dub is going to be better. Plus, people who do dubbing have developed a skill that is so fine-tuned and specific, like voice actors who can really nail a dub, like that takes immense amount of skill. As somebody who did dubbing voiceover uh, for a little while while I was in Japan, it is That's awesome. not easy at all. So like mad props to dubbers, like they, they, they work too hard to be discounted. Often they that's, get saddled with really bad translations. That's completely fair. Uh, so we are really running out of time. Eric, hot take? Uh, well, well, it's incredibly pretentious and nearly unwatchable. The first ending of Evangelion <laughs> is the superior <laughs> ending. Agreed. I, I'll go. I'll go to the fucking mat for that one. And critical bard, uh, what hot take would you like to give us? Yeah, I don't watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Oh, the anime oh, hot take. Oh so, yeah, anime. my my hot take is um, uh, anime um, supremacists can f off because yeah. I, I, I find sure. a lot when I tell people I don't watch anime, they go ill, ma'am. I, mean, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't watch very much anime anymore either because there was a there was a point it hit where it's just like everything was the sports anime or the cooking anime or this or that, and I was like, I don't care. Yeah, Fan service ruined I it for me because too much of it yeah. is like, what if we put teenage girls and they're always all, almost naked? I was like, I don't want to watch this. That's yeah. gross. But also like, uh, but secondary hot take, not really, because I I grew up watching Inuyasha. Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm I'm considering Digimon, those it's type of sure. animes. That's the shit I like. So when I tell people I like that, they go, ew, you don't like, you know, whatever. And I'm like, no. Oh, <laughs> ew, ew them. Right. Ew them ew indeed. Them. So that's me. Right. They, they, you don't they, watch they the world is the... always a cucumber? What is wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> like they've completely forgotten that anime wouldn't even be a thing in America if it weren't for those particular animes. So oh, yeah. 
So, uh, Critical Bard, thank you so much for joining us on this episode. Uh, this has been an absolute treat. Uh, they, where can they find you online? Uh, everywhere at Critical Bard. Um, quite literally everywhere, including TikTok. Uh, mm. Yeah, I do lots of streams. I'm a partner. I'm a full-time partner to Twitch streamer. So check out check out my channel all the time, especially during Black History Month. You might see me on front page a lot more. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And I uh, can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> awesome. Uh Eric, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me, mostly Eric, on all the things in social media, including Twitch, where I stream uh, during the weekdays. Awesome. Kelly? You can find me on all social media, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, at Kelly Nugee, K-E-L-L-Y-N-U-G-E-E. -E -E. Uh, check out my podcasts, Teen Creeps, and Same Day Shipping. Uh, nice. And Exile, sure. Why not? Check out Exile. At Exile. Uh, Mika? Hi, you can find me anywhere at R.I.P. Mika, um, such as in Rest in Peace Mika, because I die in every game I play, except for this one. Dahlia will live on forever. <laughs> um, and I stream every day. I don't have, like, a regular show currently. Okay. That's fine. And Aki? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And uh, you can find my entire streaming schedule over on my personal Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki, S H I D A R E A K I. And also, uh, gonna say it one more time for, for, uh, for emphasis Happy Black History Month. It was really nice getting the chance to play with you finally, Critical Bard. I have been looking forward to today very much it has been an honor for me to have you at my table sir thank uh, you my name is stephen pope you can find me on tiktok at stephen stephen pope 101 uh i give stupid videos and mostly talk about vampire the masquerade lore and how it doesn't make any goddamn sense um Still don't have my Twitter, but you can find me on Instagram, Steve J. Pope 22 and make sure you check out Saving Throw for all your gaming needs. We got some amazing shows coming up. Special thanks again to our uh, sponsors, Noble Knight Games, Hero Forge, Die Hard Dice, Norse Foundry, Owen Lean, Rookie Jet Games, The Fantasy Network, and T Public for all your help. And with that, get ready for our next show coming up very soon. So, see you then.